So, like, what did you do? I died. That was some real John Wayne shit, Staff Sergeant. Who the hell's John Wayne? Is this a test? You don't get to give me orders, son. To the little guys. Hello, little guy. It's the sweetie man coming. Three, two, one. You are now listening to the Black Label Podcast. Yeah, oh, yeah there you go. That'll do it. Yeah, That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. And Barrett is gone. <laughs> I don't know, man. This was called uh, this was called blueberry anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I, I don't know. I don't know what they call They're like the names for blueberry anal beads. The names stupid. for marijuana are I, out of control. Yeah, out of yeah. Um, but you know what? Speaking of drugs, uh, welcome back to the Black Label <laughs> Podcast. It's your monthly um, prostate exam. Hell yeah! Uh, we're yeah. back. Uh, joining me, my, my name is Daniel King. Uh, joining me, uh, my co-host Birdman. Hi. I and am Birdman. Uh, joining us this evening is the bear from the hit TV show, The Bear. <laughs> yes. It's good to have you here. Thank you. We've much talked about, like, okay, so I just want to jump right in. I'm a big fan. Go for it. Um, <laughs> did Go they, for it. like, I know that you, like, you get out of the kitchen in season two, right. and you're just, you're digging around in the dumpsters, but <laughs> yes. what in season three is going to reignite that passion for cooking and get the bear back in that kitchen? Well, I, I got to <clears throat> pursue my love interest. You know, I gotta fuck things up there. I mean, got, got, got stuck, got stuck in the freezer. Yeah, yeah. So I got got to straighten that situation out. And then things, I feel like things might come together. After yeah, that. I think so. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm. I'm not. Uh, it's not. You get it. I'm not funny. We, it's not that guy. <laughs> it's not that guy from that show. Uh, but joining us is Barrett Lewis from the ATI podcast and uh, other other notable things. Uh, yes, sir. T- tell our listeners um, that might not remember that I know you did at least one episode. Yeah. Did you, did you two? Just one. We were gonna. This was gonna be your second one, but yeah, I'm like, yeah. let's do this instead. Um, it, it, tell our listeners a little bit about uh, yourself and some of your endeavors. Yeah, absolutely. So ATI podcast is uh, abbreviated for all things and signs, so we don't limit ourselves to any particular one thing. That is. So what we try to do is be a platform for like rising underground artists or small bin- businesses in particular. So. Mm. And uh, we take the opportunity to really promote people out of St. Louis as much as we can. Although we talk to everybody, so. Like for example, we know we went up to Terra Tacos and did an on-site at Terra Tacos up in St. Louis. I, remember, I saw your post about that, that business. Yeah, and then um, you know to give you just kind of the wide wide variety that we do, we just talked to Jay Moss from Defeater and Love Letter. They're on iodine recordings now, so um, so we do a little bit of everything. That's very cool, you know, man. So that's talk about cool. local shows. That's that sort of stuff. Local scene. We kind of compare and contrast what's going on in our local scene with other people and other bands, yeah, as well across the nation. So, how do you? No, so. I know, I know, uh, Birdman and I. The, the last time we did one of these uh, these these episodes, um, we we did talk a little bit about uh, just briefly mentioned like the, the local music scene here. Yeah. Do, do you feel like it's declined or is it still in good standing? They, as far as like the local area in which we live in, which I would characterize as like the mineral area. I'm not like even really aware, but I'm also like almost 40. So <laughs> take right, that for what it's yeah. worth. I'm not like really that's aware a, of a local scene. That's the um, most think fair it's... assessment you could give. You'd be like, no, man, I got fucking a oh, job and family. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But I, I hope they're I still go to good St. at Louis it though. a lot. And there is, I was you know, say that... there's a resurgence. I feel like especially post COVID. Cause I think nice. a lot of people have realized, you know, what, they had and it was a good thing and mm-hmm. you know a lot of regret maybe i don't know st louis um, is, a, that's is the a feeling that I it's get. a big music city like yeah. we've always had a, like a, a good impressive uh music scene up in st louis i think yeah and um, I, I feel like the even like uh, underground scene is yeah like you said you were just at the sinkhole right right like yeah. that's a pretty good uh like underground Yes, venue from, absolutely. From my understanding, I haven't been, but right. I see. I would characterize the sinkhole as almost like our Barberinos back in the day. Oh, like nice. A lot of artists yeah. that are about to pop off play okay. there, and then they go get huge. That's cool. We're talking about a venue, not so. the hole in my backyard. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. gotcha, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. So Check. that's where we're gonna have our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's cool, man. Um, I'm kind of where you are as far as like. This, this, this there is no scene here right, right. i don't i don't think anymore yeah. um i yeah. i do miss what we had i i feel like sure. um because we played a lot of shows together yeah definitely um 
and I don't. It's wild because I don't even like. Are there still local venues around I don't think, here? I, not that's, that I know that, of. I mean, ba- Barberino's closed. Right. The 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 other place on Karsh closed. I forget what it was called. The Rock House is closed. Yeah, the Nature's Cup. Um, Nature's Cup. Nature's Cup. Yeah, Nature's Cup yeah. closed. And, I mean, and that's that, been years ago. There was ago, the Vault also. The yeah, vault, yeah. They do. They did shows at the courthouse every now and then. Uh, it was Long Hall. Long Hall. Yeah. But yes. Next to the courthouse. I mean, that's yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there were four yeah. venues. In one town. Well, one all the time. VFWs used to pop off whenever yeah. I was really Fuck young. Yeah, dude. As well, even, you know? even Potosi. We yeah. would have shows at the Potosi. I played yeah. several. The, the, VFWs the first, the shit. first like shoulder to shoulder building at capacity yeah. show that I ever played was at that fucking VFW yeah. Potosi. <laughs> yeah. What a reset. That was a great crowd too. Like yeah. we had a blast. One, I two of the best shows that we some of my bands I should say ever played. I feel like was in Potosi. Like kids actually turned out. For they shows did. Down yeah. There. yeah. Ain't shit going on. Well, so, dude, you know. if they're not into heroin or Fortnite, yeah. <laughs> there's nothing yeah. else going on. That's exactly. it. That's the only other thing. Yeah. So can you tell uh, the listeners? which bands you were in because yeah i know of two Maybe yeah so actually kind of the whole journey for me started uh i was a really sheltered kid in high school and shit like i grew up like in a extremely religious restricted household yeah. you know pentecostal united pentecostal so it wasn't until like i was like 17 that i started getting out and uh, i played like in band and stuff at school so michael jones is the guy who actually was like oh there's local shows going on and i started becoming friends with uh, rich jackson as well who's still my yep. friend to this day I've been in every band that I've ever been in. It's been with Ridge, I think. But uh, so that they, they were like smarting me up to the fact that there was local shows going on. Mm-hmm. So you know, that's I just jumped in with these guys. They were like, "We're a hardcore band. We're gonna play this battle of the bands." And we got the show at Bob Arenas beforehand. We need you to, you know, play. And actually, they enlisted me to play bass to start. Really? Yeah. Okay. So that band was called At Point Blank. It was like a straight edge hardcore band. And I didn't even know what fucking straight edge was. <laughs> I, I mean, I was straight edge technically by definition because of my upbringing or whatever to that right, point. Right, yeah. But I didn't, you know, so I was like, man, I feel like I fit in. Yeah, I'm straight edge, you know. I'm Let's a straight edge hardcore it, band. We're doing this yeah. thing, you know. After the first uh, couple shows and I would play the drums in between songs and stuff while we were practicing, they're like, why aren't you drumming for us okay. instead? So started playing drums. So At Point Blank was the first band that turned my into. my parents will be upset. I already got all this guitar stuff. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> That's right. That's why I never did. I was like, uh yeah, well, we had everything in my house growing up, so that was kind of the benefit. Like, you accidentally learned things that maybe wasn't your interest, you know? So, like, I learned drums first and then bass and guitar following. But Yeah. But, yeah, so, like, just any – I kind of was, like, a hired gun type guy, so I played in those bands. Uh, we kind of tried to do, like, the emo stuff, so we were in a band called Endless December for a minute. We played with, uh, uh, like, a lot at the Rock House when um, – Oh, Okay. Old what's his face from Saint John Mancuso was down there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. John Mancuso John Productions. Man- yeah, Jesus, yeah, there's yeah. a thing yeah, I haven't heard in name. fucking yeah. forever. Right. Yeah, shady, shady guy. Yeah. I think he got in some legal issues. <laughs> he very is... publicized. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Very different shady. kind of cat. So and that's kinda of like when I started like helping book shows and stuff like that. Cause I actually kind of I don't want to say shadowed him, but that seems a little too intimate. It wasn't that type of relationship. But I like sucked up to the local promoters. Like, yeah. Because like, I wanted to hey, learn. how can I do that? Yeah. Because you know, I wanted to get the fuck out of my house, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, Dude, for yeah. sure. I like I, the rest of us. Man, right? I just wanted to be like, like, sell out instantly. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be like, actually, will you play guitar in a boy band? Done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Done. But, yep. Yep. Saliva. Just, Ever heard of that band? Yeah. <laughs> Former lead singer here. Do you have a room for me to park my jet? <laughs> so, so, after that, what? Yeah, after that, we, uh, we ended up... Uh, I believe the very next thing we did was we were statues, which turned into worlds. That was the big, yeah, okay, bigger. So I would say that was probably like I was maybe with, the most popular band yeah, I was in. I was familiar with worlds, and then uh, Meyer Giants was yeah, that Meyer. after worlds? Yeah. Or, so yeah, that's, that's uh, at the same time, worlds was going on. We were also doing indie stuff. It was like total contrast, that's right? Yeah, yeah I remember so that because it started out as lay of the land, lay of the land. Yes, yeah. I really like that played, stuff. We played. Both bands played with your band, so it yeah. probably got confusing. It was like basically all the same members as well, <laughs> yeah, right? Just like maybe the guy who played guitar played bass now, or the guy For who sure. played bass now sings, or it was just that type of thing, you know. I don't yeah. mind a good switch everything. up. I don't mind a good switch yeah. up. Yeah, I, yeah. I really I liked, enjoy it. Yeah, I really liked what you guys did with Worlds, Lay of the Land, and my like, yeah, Meyer Giants. All three of those bands, I, it it was just um, it was refreshing, like playing shows. Like I feel like new statue and then whatever you guys were doing 
kind of yeah. had a good vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was not the same type of music. It's not exactly the same, uh, yeah. But it wasn't like too much of a stretch to hear those two bands play together, and we were all bros. So, yeah. You know, we yeah. knew, uh, Ridge and I knew Corey since he was like 16, right. maybe. I love bros. Um, those were super fun times, yeah. for sure. So yeah, we had a lot We had a lot of good times. Um, yeah, I played a lot of great shows. Meyer Giants may have been as popular. I really couldn't tell you that. You'd have to ask other people. Yeah. Because we played more in college towns. I like that's most of the your stuff that I'm yeah, familiar so with. Yeah, so we played like Columbia, mm -hmm. Champaign, St. So obviously St. Louis Cape. Yeah. Like we would play a lot of college shows. That's cool. And, uh, Champaign, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. If you're not from around here, it's a real place. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a real place. Home of Hum. One of the greatest bands. Is of all it time. really? Yes. Huh. Wow. Okay. Yes. I did not know Thomas that. Thomas from Champaign, Illinois. I'll be damned. And the lead singer has been doing uh, living room tours and I been you taking were requests say methamphetamine. Huh. <laughs> at no cost to come to your living room and play. Well, I think it was. Cool. Yeah. He just. I think he just stopped. Uh, I forget his last name. I think Matt's his first. Their big song it. was. Uh, was it Stars? Stars was the one that got or the commercial. Their, yeah. 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 Success, but man, this. this Obviously, they have. More. They yeah. actually just like got back together in 2020 and released Inlet, and that was cool. the best record that year. So if anybody's not aware, they're fucking still killing it. I have to check it awesome. out. Awesome. Yeah. When yeah. I go back to edit this, I'll I'll fucking pull that yeah. up. So I, I just, love like good recommendations during yeah. this because I get it like another time when I'm like I got a blanket over right. my head and shit. And I'm just <laughs> yeah. like in yeah. here in my own yeah. little world. Absolutely. Yeah. I just I just briefly wanted to talk about music with you because like yeah. you know we were in the scene together for a while and. I always loved what you guys did, and I don't know, I miss it. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah. It was a good but time. we just got older. and Yeah, and we <laughs> booked a lot of our own shows, too, which was like its own, and it was mainly me doing it. Yeah, um, that's, that's another while, thing that's really shows, hard. Like, yeah, Nature's yeah. Cup, which, you know, Middlebrook, you played back Played with yeah, Middlebrook. Yeah. I miss um, playing um, That's when I man. first met you. You played mm -hmm. Nature's Cup there, and uh, I can't remember who took me. I want to say maybe Garrett took me out to the car and was like, hey, here's the... Me and him just within five minutes we were like best friends. Yeah, I don't know. Me and him just were on the same wavelength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just lock in with some people sometimes. Right. Know? But I remember he took me out to the car and played your guys' uh, new album that you're getting ready to play, and I was like, "Whoa, these guys are fucking incredible!" And who's that bass player? And like, <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna love this guy. Oh, that's that's, that's the Birdman. Oh, that's Birdman. Right? Bird <laughs> yeah. So that I, I have that distinct memory of like meeting you because it was like. And then I saw you play, and you had some stage presence and stuff. So like, I was like, all right, this I can fuck with this guy. Yeah. I love a good bass player. That was one of my favorite, just being on the stage, because like, yeah. as a as a really shy kind of like uh, anxiety ridden person, I was always so, impressed uh, with your stage presence, man. Cause I feel yeah, like you can just go, but you can just go up there and be a different person almost. You yeah, know what I mean? Really. Like. Be just be weird. weird. Yeah, yeah like, like as much as I loved like writing and playing music, I I like really I missed the performing aspect of mm -hmm. it. Uh, it's fantastic. Like it's an adrenaline rush. Like oh fuck else. yeah! It is. Yeah, yeah. And it, it for is. sure. And it's weird. Like I get how like rock stars. I cannot imagine playing in front of a sold out coliseum. Right. And I could see why they would. You would start to come down off that high and be like, "You have cocaine? Let <laughs> right. me try it." Right. You know, like <laughs> sure. I get. I get it because you're yeah. trying to stay there. Absolutely. Um. Yeah. That's fucking. That's good stuff, so man. We're, just real quick, and then yeah, we yeah. can we can talk about other oh, stuff. I, we got all fucking. Nice. Yeah. Were you always nervous before a show? Or Absolutely, was it... man. Because the, the sheltered lifestyle. Yeah. Um, at school, when I was younger and stuff, like I would kind of do what you said. I'd try to be a different person sometimes because I was away from you know mom and dad and yeah, um, like the constrictions at home and stuff. And it was like uh, there was definitely points in my life I kind of like lived two different lives. Even at school, I that's would, crazy. Yeah, I would kind of like experiment with like. I'll say this funny thing when the teacher says something. <laughs> Just like being a clown. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be the class clown, yeah. or I'll do this, or I'll be the best friend, or I'll be the quiet guy, or I'll talk some shit if I need to, or. You know, I I just felt like I was always trying to like figure out who I was because I wasn't yeah. like living under that oppression when I was actually at school. You know, wow. so oh, yeah. yeah. But I was still very shy. It yeah. was it was you know. I tried the fucking douche bro thing, where, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, you suck because your hair's a different color. Yeah, you know, like just yeah. petty shit. You know? Right. I tried that one on for yeah. a while. <laughs> or probably a little too long, but yeah, uh, I hear you, man. You know, you know, some things you just settle into, and right. then one day you'd be like, "What the fuck am I?" Where well, and you friends? get in exactly. with like a certain group, or even just a certain yeah. person, and, right? Yeah, like, and I feel like what really pushed me because I was always the oldest kid in my family, and there was like. Uh, drug issues with my dad and stuff over the years on and off so like i kind of became like their surrogate father in mm -hmm. a way so oh, yeah. like i had to do things i didn't want to do yeah like, you know t 
take them to school or whatever. Once I was a teenager and was able to drive, I mean, that's just a small thing or pick them up from basketball practice or whatever. Right. You You know, like I just had some (laughs) level of a responsibility for way too long in my life, you know, so it kind of like, I guess, aged me too. Yeah. Um, So I was, I was just, you know, just trying to find myself and once actually playing shows to get back to your question, that kind of was like, okay, I can... I can be myself maybe and people might accept me because there was like a lot of other like weird people and people yeah. that didn't want to, you know, weren't introverted that would just oh. stay around the shows and not interact with people and stuff. Absolutely. I'm like, but there was also people that were constantly fucking with each other. You know? Some of the strangest people I have yeah. ever like for real Absolutely. have like met and hung out with in my life. Just met them at local shows. Huge mm-hmm. people still friends watcher. With, still friends with most yeah. of them. They're I'm just huge, fucking weird, you know? <laughs> huge people watcher and like. First so show I. I ever went to, I was like, <laughs> Buddy, oh my God, dude, this is a feast. I don't, yeah. smorgasbord for I don't know if anybody told dude. you, but you just missed the Washington County Fair. <laughs> <laughs> dude, we, uh, my good. fiance and I just went to see uh, Coheed and Primus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we stuck. How we, was that? I feel bad because we didn't stick around for Primus. Wow. It was just too hot. And we were just like, because it was outside. It. it was covered, but it was like, man, yeah. this, is, this is brutal. I bet they did. Um, my name is Mud. But Primus what? brought out. Some freaks. I bet, sure. dude. I bet, yeah. dude. I, dude, I could, like, Primus probably has, like, that tool, like, kind of following, like, you know, like yeah, a real exactly. cult following. Yeah. yeah. Um, yep, yep, yeah, yep. I can see it, dude. Appreciate we were it. just like, I got a cousin who's like way into Primus. And yeah, there's like, those after people. he says it, you're like, no, that tracks. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, okay. There's just yeah, those people that lock in with them like that, or mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, you get the ICP people too. Yeah, you know? <laughs> right. right. That's kind of what it seemed like too at the show. Yeah. We were like, are you into Primus or ICP? Yeah. Maybe yeah. both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe a little both. It's weird. It's weird. Their net that they cast, but yeah, I can see that. Maybe I just have chunky bass jams and I drink Fago. You know, who knows? Okay, the human soul is unknowable. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so, as far as ATI, are you guys doing weekly episodes or? Yeah, what's your Bro, release first schedule two, like? First two years, yeah, it was, it was weekly. weekly. Sometimes, if, if an opportunity fell in my lap, I'd pinch in another show. It was, it was crazy. A bonus, was crazy. a little bonus. So, yeah. is it a little different yeah. now? Or I've, like, yeah, I've slowed down, man, because okay. uh, I got a lot of responsibilities in the sense of you know I got a professional life. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, got three small kids, so that monopolizes time as well. You know, it's a priority, mm-hmm. and got to make time for the wife still. You know, yeah, try yeah. and find those date times. Well, and, and you have to make time for yourself too. Sure, I mean, sure, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, um, God, that's the part I struggle with is for finding time for myself. I yeah. like to, I like to pour from my cup until it is tragically empty, <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a fucking meltdown. And you're like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, then I have a meltdown, and then I shut down for three or four days, and then my cup's full again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just fucking. I wish I could manage that for myself. It's yeah. a little easier in the summer because I like the outdoors. You yes. know, it's like, yes, yeah, maybe I'll go fishing, maybe I'll Feel go that. to a lake, or you know, whatever. You know, just get some, you know, fucking yeah. whatever, whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but now we're, I I just you know some I'll go on a three week stretch maybe I'll bank kinda, some stuff yeah. yeah and record extra stuff but I've been trying to dedicate because I also edit everything that's on our network so it's not just the mothership the flagship show ATI podcast but we have uh, Brandon Stewart uh, used to play in local bands around here dressed for a mm-hmm. funeral yeah yeah yep. uh, went in Brandon's the military been on the, Brandon's been yeah, on the been interesting on, movies yeah, a couple of times been good, on the good cast dude. a few times. A uh, longtime friend of mine, uh, he got really into D&D and stuff, and he just came to me and was like, what would you think about me doing something with D&D and kind of talking about that and educating people? And I'm like, "There's a whole, I know there's a thing. Oh, there's people a, that's like a it. Whole yeah. audi- I don't know anything about it, but bless you, bro. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm, in the, I'm in that audience, actually. Yeah. I, I check out his episodes pretty frequently because I, I do paint my yeah. own miniature fair. I DM for two or three campaigns. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, mean, I fucking love D&D. There's a whole audience that's oh, just yeah. like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. For sure. I mean, once I started to understand it in school, you know, it was always like dismissive thing, you know. Um, but once Brandon, Brandon honestly is basically the person that explained it to me because I just never even cared to know. Yeah. But I just got, got fascinated with how much time he was spending with it. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a lot of people into that stuff, you know, and, uh, I, I edit his episodes. So, okay. uh, so I do all the video editing for our network. And, uh, so I am like forced to watch. God, how, much fucking <laughs> you know? time, how much time does that take you? Oh my God. Is that like an insane amount of time? That's crazy, yeah. It, That's it, Cause I think that I spend way too much yeah. time doing this shit. Well, I mean the and video, you, you have thing, got to do yeah. way more than I do. I, it, 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 it's a lot, but that kind of back to your original question is the reason that I kind of, in part, kind of laid off my shows. And, uh, I'm, I'm like more over like quality than quantity now. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. that. I for think sure. I was kind of maybe burning myself out too. Cause there would be like weeks I'd be like, man, 
I would even get sick to my stomach for it. And that sounds silly, but it goes back to the anxiety and stuff yeah, like that. You I, know? F- I feel I the same. Like, We've I'm just to... like losing uh, interest in doing this. Yeah. yeah. Like, why am I doing this right now? When I... I've got some other little projects in the work that I'm working yeah. on too. And it just like, man, I was like, out of the enthusiasm bank, I only, I only mm-hmm. have so much steam. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that bandwidth uh, man that yeah, up. But I, we switched to doing, it's just a movies bi-weekly. And I got to tell you, it has been such a fucking huge, like, relief. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I can, well, yeah, I need to edit that, but I have two weeks to do it now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not, everything's not, like, urgent. Like, Sundays, it was like. You have to plan every single week when you're releasing right. weekly right. content because you have to have the editing done by whatever time you put your shit out, uh, which is fucking exhausting. Yeah. 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 Uh, you guys want to do a, a segment? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to do big sad things about being a man in your 40s. I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I don't think any of us are officially there yet. Oh, right? fuck. Yeah, no, not, yeah, no just, not yet. You might be closer. Oh, well, I also might not be. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny of you to say a, a bear, a real bear. <laughs> a real studio. bear. Talking bear. Talking bear. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this segment is called, oh, fuck. Um, uh, cheeks. And, the one I, the one I. <laughs> Cheeks, cheeks, claps clap, and clap and sleeps. Cheeks. Clap and cheeks. Uh, wait, wait, what is it? Fuck, Mary kill. Clap and cheeks. Permanent keeps. No. Fuck. I, I can't remember. I never <laughs> I can know, remember I it. Know, I don't know. It's like a clap and cheeks or, or uh, forever keeps. Forever permanent keeps, sleeps. Permanent, permanent there we sleeps. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So it's Mary fuck kill, but we're not saying that. So <laughs> right. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. <laughs> what in the hell's diversity? I know it sounds harsh, but God does not want her to live. Uh, here's the first one: a xenomorph alien, the Predator, or ET. All right. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna I think have... I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck ET. <laughs> <It's> gotta be <laughs> oh the throat God, goat. Gotta, be, gotta be the throat goat. Is it the badagadon? <laughs> <laughs> E.T.'s got that ass too It's just you know ass I mean? and mouth Just a fucking upside down pear really? shape fucking <laughs> A colon with a face Yeah It's just a, it's just a big It's just a big uh, uh, Extra Terusi ter- <laughs> <laughs> But E.T.'s got to be the, guy, you know? E.T.'s got to be the throat goat I'm telling you this I'm not putting <laughs> I'm not God putting damn. my penis anywhere wow. near a xenomorph Not Not anywhere near it Oh wow um and so <laughs> fuck man killing the Xena hmm I don't know what what, what do you what do you guys I think, think? I'd marry um, ET <laughs> really you'd marry ET I now that you say that I can I could see it I could see it you know I it's fuck with that I, I fuck with that <laughs> uh, goddamn <laughs> <laughs> and what was the middle one Predator uh Predator yeah, yeah Predator. fuck Pre- from yeah. the movie. Predator. <laughs> Not to be confused Not with the movie name. Well, there's other the ones. Predator. There's other ones. The there's, predator. A, there's a female one at some point, isn't there? Yes. Isn't there a female predator in. Yes. Pe- I don't know which one. I don't even know why. I'm pretending there's, like I might. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck Predator. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're right. I think yeah, oh, I think I'd, I think kill. I'd fuck the predator too. Yeah. No wait, no, right. no, no, no. I think I would marry the predator. You're gonna marry predator? Yeah, I think so. That's gonna because uh, be I tell you this: if you kill predator. They're just gonna keep coming for you. Yes, that's, well, that's absolutely. the thing. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done. Like they're just gonna so, keep gooning for you. you know? <laughs> My take was marry the xenomorph. Okay. Okay. Was to Gross. fuck the predator. You know what fuck your house predator. is gonna look like in two months? It's just all black ooze Dude. and shit. <laughs> Are nasty. you gonna match my freak? Are you gonna match my freak? <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I, guess. <laughs> I watched. And Romulus. I'm killing. I watched, I watched Romulus today, actually. You did? Yeah. Oh fuck, dude! I'm seeing it tomorrow. Oh nice. nice. Okay. Yeah. So, you, you're gonna like it. so we're not oh, gonna talk it. about it. Love we're it. not gonna talk about it. Stay off that uh, one. Yeah. And so then I'm gonna kill ET. You're gonna kill ET. Ooh. I I just uh, was never a fan. Literally, oh, I wasn't. I wasn't either. until this year. I finally was like, you know what? Really? I'm gonna give this like the treatment that I should have as a kid, which I I did at the time, but I didn't give a shit. I was so bored by ET when our first. I'm distracted it. by literally anything. Yeah. Like a child. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And so, like, I was like, you know, I'm going to, because I recently bought a VHS player and stuff, and I've oh, been doing yeah, VHS right, productions. Okay. Like, uh, projections at my house and had a few parties and stuff. Nice. Oh, okay. yeah. Invited people over, like, Jaws Dude, and shit. 
Uh, and, there are so uh, many classic movies that I yeah. would, you know what I mean? So, like, <sighs> now that I'm, like, I go antiquing occasionally, I'll get, like, 25-cent VHSs in perfect condition. And Try to find you a Betamax? Stack. I would like to. <laughs> and Dude, I would, they're fu- I fucking check them out on video eBay. Quality. They're, yeah, they are. They're, yeah. There's way less movies available on them, but they look way better. Hmm. Dude, the crazy thing. Also, well, the players are fucking not cheap, Quick bro. sidebar. I did not even know this existed. There was HD VHS in the early 2000s, and it was a 1080i picture. It was actually better than any output that DVD had, and it actually ma- matches like a low-quality first-tier uh, Blu-ray. But really? it was very expensive to make. The machines were big. Yeah. And just because of those costs stacked up, I did. I just recently learned this. I was like, huh, I think those? that's I one of the that. reasons that everybody was like, CDs <clears throat> will never go away. Right, you know, like that, like they had the remember. technology, they figured it out. Yeah, huh. I'm surprised that records have stuck. Like vinyl has been around. Well, as long as it's it made a huge, huge comeback. Recent, I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it, even in this, like, that's my vice. Yeah, as far as that's and, mine too. Yeah, yeah I got like. I think we both collect. Yeah. I don't have that many, but um, I would say I started collecting in like 2012. That's when vinyl really. Yeah. I, around that time, I think vinyl really started to come back. Speaking of comeback, how about Army Hammer, Mel Gibson, <laughs> Kevin Spacey? <laughs> Mary oh. fuck kill Army Hammer, Mel Gibson, Kevin Spacey. Just three pieces of shit. God I'm gonna damn. kill Kevin Spacey. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one because Mel Gibson, man, all the fucking Mel Gibson's pretty terrible. Anti Semite stuff yeah. and everything. He, they're all they're yeah. all terrible. Yeah, but uh... see, Army Hammer, I can only think of his acting career, and for whatever reason, it trumps anything personal. Maybe oh, about him. He was like trying to cannibalize somebody, or like he was. People were like he's a cannibal, and he's like, I am actually. Oh yeah, that's right. That's and right. it like he's like come, his, whole, also, his whole family's abusive. I watched the documentary; pretty disturbing. Stuff. I do need to see the documentary, so let me let me start with that. Oh, but okay. when I initially read what what he said or what he was alleged, I was like, that's fucking weird. But like, should he be canceled? I'm not quite sure. About it's that. not. It's not just that. But then I other stuff started to yeah. come out, and then I'm like, okay, you're well, like, oh well, I'm maybe out on this. <laughs> I'm out on this. I don't have. Yeah. So here's there. the thing. I don't think I'd marry him because he's broke now. <laughs> ah, yeah. There you go. Damn. He sells. Like he sells take, real like estate and is not doing great at it. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh fuck me. So. Wow. You either have to. Uh, he's probably just me. He's probably about. listening to this army. What's up, bro? Hey, what's army? up, bro? <laughs> we fuck with you. That's how poor he is. He, li- he listens to this podcast. <laughs> it's literally what he's doing. He's not selling any houses. He's just sitting in his he office. He lives in Leadwood. <laughs> <laughs> but a but a uh, uh, five acre farm. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Danny? If he knew that was the worst burn anybody would ever mm. said about him, ah, uh, fuck, man. I think, think uh, I think I'm gonna kill Kevin Spacey. God, fuck, dude! This is the most difficult one I think. I've ever yeah, this asked. one's pretty hard. This is yeah. this is birds. This I, is birds' I, brain. I baby. That's really good. Well, because I was like, let's either do like some fucked up Hollywood stars. Yeah, yeah. Or there was another. I can't remember the other option. I was like, these three just kind of popped into yeah, my head, yeah. and I was like, oof, man, that's that is such a mixed crowd. But yeah, uh, was a... but yeah, I don't know. I I really can't give you any explanation why. I think I would fuck. Army. Okay. I would... Oh. <laughs> Spacey would be into it, though. I'd you know marry I mean? Gibson. Mel Gibson. And, yeah, I'd have to Yeah, I think I'm kill with you. I'd, I'd kill Spacey. Kevin Spacey, marry Mel Gibson, and, and hate it. But you know what? He'd have to denounce his religion then because he's married to a man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he would. I think we're all in agreement on that one. Yeah. 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 And about face. Yeah. 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 I thought about fucking Mel Gibson and marrying Army Hammer, but you're right, he ain't got no fucking money. So <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's nah. that broke ass fool. Nah. Um, all right, here we go. <laughs> Robot edition. Oh Uh-oh. shit, yes. Optimus Prime. Okay. The T the T eight hundred one oh one. So Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Terminator. Oh wow. And Rosie from the Jetsons. <laughs> Bro. I'm totally Mary and Rosie. You gotta I feel marry like, Rosie. I feel like you got to wife up Rosie. She'd take care of you, she, man. Yeah, she that sure would. Easy, I, I need yeah. that wife like that. She sure would. And she's got a dump truck. Yeah, she do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And she she got that DSL. She does have that <laughs> DSL. <laughs> High speed. <laughs> they don't call it a universal serial bus for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so um, what were the uh, other ones? Uh uh, Terminator, Terminator, and then like OG Terminator, yeah, OG, right? yeah, and uh, Optimus Prime. I'm. I feel like I'd kill Optimus Prime just to be a buzzkill, you know, just to I'd just to sow chaos. 
I mean, he saved the world a few times. You'd fuck him if he I'd was like, him. bear. <laughs> bear. <laughs> Sam Witwicky. <laughs> <laughs> Lower. I can't. <laughs> the yeah, Oscar power I can't get down. There. Lower, baby. Lower. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I guess. Oh, fuck, man. It might be mm. easier to kill Optimus Prime, though. Well, you do just Would run, it? You just run him into a Does telephone. Does it matter ball. how easy it is? I, you just jackknife him. I don't He's know. an 18 wheeler. Really, I never really heard anybody take that approach. Like, who's the easiest to kill? Well, that's why I, I went with Helen decision. Keller last time. <laughs> <laughs> kill Helen oh, Keller because it would be easy. You know what's funny? Yeah, when you said that, immediately I was like, I do the exact same thing for the exact same reason. So it made it even funnier. <laughs> you didn't have to date. You just walk up behind her yeah. and be like, you dumb bitch. Well, you know, like, I think obviously. You're, I think you're right, though. You probably uh, it's, who do you fuck have a, Terminator and then kill Optimus. Optimus. Yeah, yeah probably. It, it, Prime's, he's nice enough. You could get close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get close enough to kill. <laughs> close enough. Yeah. To Terminator? Kill. No. 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 Yeah. You ain't killing that. Psh, man. <laughs> Just think about that so pussy we're all, nasty. We're all in agreement on I that. I think one we're too, in agreement yeah. on that one yeah. too. Okay, here yeah. we go. Uh, you got another one? A, annoying character. I got uh three more. Three more. Let's do it. God, three more. Damn. Uh no, t- two more. I got two more. Um sp- uh, annoying characters. SpongeBob. Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory. Oh my god. Or Mia Goth, but she's screaming constantly. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Mia Goth is up there for me for celebrity crushes, and I like them crazy and redheaded, usually. Yeah. So she's checking all the boxes. Yeah. I've, but she's screaming I constantly. To, I don't care. She's you're gonna marry her? Yeah. I'll just I'm already almost <laughs> deaf from all the live music. We we noted that earlier. James. Yeah. Yeah. So uh I, I my to, ears would be out. I have to kill my her. My ears would blow out within have, five minutes. I have to kill her. So it's like good. whatever whatever type of I like autism I, I have, it's the yeah. kind where I can't hear that for more than 15 <laughs> seconds or I will lose my fucking shit. Daddy! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking, oh good. my God. I, I I like me. She's gorgeous. She's a gorgeous lady. Fantastic fucking actress. Oh my God. Respect the hell out of her. Have you heard about she's what she amazing. did for Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. Yeah, like that was yeah. crazy. Like help cleaned him up and shit. You know yeah. What I mean? I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Like she was the only person that showed up at his, like for his intervention, like you're supposed to have a family day. Fucking really good person. And she wasn't even really good friends with him. They just wow. worked together on Nympho maniac at but, that point and knew each other but uh-huh. yeah wow man but in this person. example she's screaming constantly and again <laughs> like she doesn't like, stop. I, don't, I don't care bro, you're just cool with it i don't even care all right all right i get um, screamed at all the time so I'm, <laughs> already, I'm already about that life Sponge, <laughs> spongebob sheldon from the big bang series mia got but screaming constantly so you're gonna marry mia yeah i'm marrying mia what would you do with spongebob uh, or... i think i'd have to kill spongebob for some reason i just find him more low-key annoying even though I like, you know, the SpongeBob cartoon. Yeah. yeah. It's just that his laugh, I could not. You're going to yeah. fuck Sheldon? <laughs> I think so. I'm going to fuck Sheldon because he'd like it. Bazinga. <laughs> Is that what they say on that show? I've never seen that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck Mia, kill Sheldon, marry SpongeBob. <laughs> He's got a his Love salary is like there. he's a fry yeah. cook. <laughs> well, he can cook. Yeah, he can. He can cook. He does. He'll take yeah. care of the snail. You don't have yeah. to do that. That's nice. Yeah. He'll make me laugh. I guess. I, I have Dude, to... you're talking me into it now. Oh, Talk, man, yeah, I think I'd wife up SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, I guess <laughs> I, I guess I'd fuck me a goth, but she's screaming constantly. I, can I wear earplugs in this scenario? I know I came up with I this, mean, but I'm I mean, you're, you guys. you're two adults. You what can do whatever matter? you want. Oh, yeah, as fuck. long as both parties are both parties are cons- yeah, yeah, exactly. Consent. Okay, so you can yeah. Okay, definitely. all right, but you yes. still might be able to hear her screaming because like what's gonna yeah it just really takes a blow. certain decibel her, like her yeah. screaming face is like she's an ugly but maybe you're into that not into, uh, you know maybe you're into that while you're having face down ass up <laughs> that's the way we like to fuck yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying backseat windows up <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah i guess i'd kill sheldon from the big bang theory okay although yep. he probably has more to give to the world oh he definitely does in the big yeah. Yeah, yeah, like in continuity that's true. that is true because he's like literally his character right but yeah. you know what right, so he ain't got a fat ass. And, uh, <laughs> That's true. And, you got uh, that yeah. Hank Hill ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> Straight down. Gall day. Gall day. Oh. Uh, here we go. Harvin Weins- Harvey Weinstein, Mike Pence, Ooh. or a four-day-old room-temperature chicken sandwich? God <laughs> what? damn. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Did you come up with this one? Uh, Harvey Weinstein, <laughs> no, Mike Pence, or a four-day-old room-temperature chicken sandwich? Did you come up with this? I did. <laughs> wow. Fucking... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. 
Is that hands? Well, then go ahead and answer. <laughs> if it's so easy, <laughs> Birdman. All right. I'm going to marry the chicken. Because nobody says you have to do yeah. anything other than marry the chicken. It'll be death do you part. I mean, like yeah. by the time ants get it or maggots yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah. That you seems just, like easy. You can love again. You can love again. Yeah, that's right. And I, didn't I, think about will, marrying I, I will kill. I will kill Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. And I will fuck Mike Pence. Because he was the vice president. Yeah. yeah. Who can say that? You that's a pretty president? easy one. Yeah. Actually, yeah. when you think about it. That one's not too bad. I think Bear's got this on lock. Yeah, I think yeah. he does. I think he just showed you up, Danny. He did. Yeah, you got one. Got one up your sleeve. Yeah. I don't think I have any more. Um, Let me think. The, the alien one was pretty good. That was that was good. I didn't know yeah. everybody was going to wife Rosie from the Jetsons so fast. <laughs> oh, dude. Come on. Jetsons. Come on. I OG mean, Rosie. Yeah. Yeah. It's what every boy dreams of. She does. She's built like a pinup girl, you know? <laughs> yeah. For real. <laughs> Almost Jessica Rabbit-esque features. <laughs> if Jessica Rabbit was a toaster <laughs> Yeah, exactly It's the, the brave little toaster meets Jessica Rabbit mm-hmm. yeah. I like okay. that, it's Amazing. pretty good Okay, um, I have a hypothetical What you got? Um, it's not related to any segment or whatever uh, But if you were a vacation, what type of vacation would you be? Oh my god At Me as a person? Yeah, I think I would oh. be like a, 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 a cabin on the lake hmm. A vacation I like it Yeah, I like it I don't but know. But there's so many kinds out there. I mean, like. Right. I would see, I guess I see myself more as like a, I don't know, like a cabin on a river more so than lake personally. Okay. But yeah, I could see that. You know what? That tracks. Yeah. Those are two different adventures. Yeah, I definitely. absolutely agree. Yeah. What's a, what's, <laughs> what's a cabin on a pond? <laughs> Just a different body of water. What's yeah. the, uh, what's the place they go in? It's always sunny. Like they loved it as kids, and then it just turns out it kind of sucks. Is it like Pittsburgh or something? <laughs> like, they go like not far. No. no, it's like a beach, but it's a terrible uh, beach. Like that would be that's me as a person. Oh, they go to, <laughs> they go to Jersey Shore, Jersey like, Shore, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Just like needles in the sand yeah. and shit. Oh like, god, oh. that's great. That's great. That's <laughs> just the worst Love vacation. <laughs> I'd be the super the eight on, vacation. I'd be the super <laughs> eight on the, on the other end of the highway. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, I don't know, man. That's that's an interesting question. Yeah. What was yeah. yours again? Your ca- your cabin in the woods? Cabin on a lake. Or cabin, cabin on a lake. lake. Yeah. You were you were I, cabin I, near a river. Yeah. Yeah. I could see Maybe like... I would be cabin by a pond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Bonterre pond the with Bonterre, the alligator? With the, oh, God. Is the alligator still in there? I, as far God. as I can tell. Oh, man. That is fucking <laughs> that funny. That is wild. I lost yeah. interest until they're like, it ain't a kid. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Spice this thing up. <laughs> that explains all child abductions. Uh, <laughs> recent missing dogs have skyrocketed in Bonterre, Missouri, <laughs> as the Bonterre Gator. Uh, <laughs> so still bon- tonight at ten. <laughs> tonight yeah. at ten, the Bonterre Gator. Um, all right, I got a couple of segments left. I've got a. I label it as this or that, but it's not really that. It's like celebrities and their doppelgangers. Okay. But you can only keep one, Hmm. and the other one, they're atomized and all their work is destroyed. So you can never watch any of their stuff or experience any of their art again. Similar type actors, like Like maybe I don't know. They look they look alike. Yeah, I guess. Or yeah, because like you were telling me about this earlier, and I was like, uh, just motherfuckers that look alike. Jesse Plemons and uh, Matt Matt Damon. Damon. Yeah, that's a good starter. Jesse Plemons and Matt Damon. Who's who? Who's getting atomized? Oh fuck, that's hard. That's a hard one. That's a really hard. That one. That is a hard yeah. one. Because I mean, that's Jason fucking Bourne. Yeah, but Jesse Plemons is in a Jesse lot Plemons of good stuff. Is, yeah, he yeah. fucking really is. I don't know, man. I uh, what if no Jesse Plemons in Breaking Bad? This. They just I think the season ends. I like got two this. seasons earlier. What do you got? What do you think? Keeping Matt Damon. I'm getting rid of Jesse Plemons just for the sheer fact that he married childhood crush Kirsten Dunst. And I, I gotta have my chance with Kirsten. <laughs> so wait, do, wait, uh, I'm making this personal. Matt He's Damon. Ma- Matt Damon personal. married no. Kir- no Jesse, Plemons. Jesse Plemons. Jesse married yeah. Kirsten. Yes. Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. Yep. Yeah. Because they work together on uh, Fargo. Fargo. Yep. Huh. TV series. Okay. And they're also in Civil War together. Mm. Oh, I haven't seen Civil War yet. It's like fantastic. It's way good? up on my list. I can't really wait good. to watch um, it. I wish I was seen in a theater because I heard stuff about the sound design, like the bullets whizzing by you and stuff. Like it's oh, supposedly it's crazy. You, fucking cool. Did you just like stream? I it watched or... it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's a that is a tough one. 
I feel like I would pick Jesse Plemons. Keep Jesse Plemons. I don't. I know that's maybe like an unpopular. No, no, I would have said that otherwise, probably. Yeah, but I you're like, I, I gotta have my chance with Kirsten Dunst. I gotta have my petty reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Petty reason. Right. Um, I think. Oh man, I think I'm also gonna have to go with Jesse Plemons because I think I'm a bigger fan of more of his stuff. Like, yeah, I can see that. All right, okay. So I can never watch like Goodwill Hunting again. That really sucks. That does suck. I love Goodwill Hunting. Talented Mr. Ripley. Talented Mr. He's Ripley. Really good man. He good is. flick. Yeah. Um, the born the born movies, movies are which fun. I haven't seen in forever, but I remember them. Yeah, yeah, I, had a problem. I remember them all being fun action for that time period and yeah. what they are. As far as consistency, might yeah. be the best action. Franchise. We bought a zoo. Right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. We bought yeah, a zoo. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Shed a Guess single tear for we bought a zoo. <laughs> we bought a zoo. Uh, no, I mean like legitimately though, like The Martian. I did Pre- like the Martian. Pretty the incredible. Martian was yeah, yeah. yeah. it was really good. Um, but what else is he? I think I'm gonna go with Jesse Plemons for real. Um. Oh, the departed. The departed. Fuck. The oh departed. wait. Yes. Can, so I change, ho- can I change? Can I change my vote? <laughs> you already killed can Matt I change Damon. Change my vote. No, I'm gonna re-atomize <laughs> yeah, Matt Damon. That's due for a rewatch. For <laughs> God yeah, damn. Great movie. All right, here we go. Uh, Steve Zahn and Shay Wiggum. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm gonna keep Shay Wiggum. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep Shay Wiggum. He's Wiggum. like literally one of my favorite character he's, actors. He's so good, dude. Yeah, he's phenomenal. He's... He stands out in everything he does. I loved him in Boardwalk Empire. Because you know, yes. uh, my dad said he was really good in um, the fuck HBO remake of an old show about a detective. Help me out. Uh, um, uh, Perry P- Mason. Perry Mason. Perry Mason. Yep, yep that's the one. Mary I haven't Payson. seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I would have to, fucking, yeah. It looks crazy with that fucking long hair and that Shea beard. Shea Wiggum is one of my favorite He's got actors. All like, kind of, I, he was in Eileen take last shelter. year. Um, oh, yeah. He was the like fucked up alcohol dad, and he was amazing in that. In which one? Eileen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we yeah. talked about that, actually, on the last uh, episode of this podcast. Um, all right. Uh, Tom Hardy, Logan Marshall Green. Ooh. Um, Kinda, uh, well, I'm keeping Tom Hardy just because way more quality over time but marshall green's got some individual performances that i absolutely love. upgrade uh, yes yeah i don't um, i don't think i've ever been blown the away invited, by time. right or uh, was it invitation the invitation invitation yeah, yeah, yeah that's that a really movie. good movie i haven't phenomenal. seen that since that came out he's got more fringe hits but his fringe hits right. are fucking they they fuck hard they do yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, agree. I think i would unfortunately have to keep um tom hardy too like even though i love like upgrade is it's up there. Yes. I fucking love that movie. I was literally talking to somebody about that lately. Like, that's probably might be a top five revenge Dude, film for me all time. It's oh yeah. We did it. We did it uh for the show. What did we do a few with months it? ago? Oh my god, we did upgrading cyborg. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, that was like a hundred percent episode. Yeah. That was the first time yeah. it ever happened. We're we like both of these are fucking amazing. Yeah. God, Cyborg's still the best bad movie I've ever seen. Have you ever seen Cyborg with Van Damme? Yes, I have. Oh my god. I did listen to you guys' episode. Cash money. (laughs) It's so good. It's good. Uh man. Um help help me save uh Tom Hardy. Because I'm I'm struggling real hard to think of like why I would keep Tom Hardy. Like I know he's in a lot of stuff and I I don't dislike any of it really, but I'm don't like I'm struggling to think of anything I like better than Okay, so then Tom Hardy and what was it? The, is the Peaky dinner, Blinders. the invitation, the invitation, huh? Tom Hardy's in Peaky Blinders. <clears throat> oh, I haven't seen incredible. Peaky Blinders. So. His role in it is incredible. Matt, okay. or, uh, uh, Inception. Inception. He's in that. He's Bane Inception in the Dark Knight right. Rises. Yeah, he's I, could, I could live without that. So I really <laughs> like. I could live Legend. without that. He's really good in that. Did you see Locke? I Locke like, is I great. Like, I loved Locke. I like Legend and Locke. I like those two. I know Locke, Locke is, is a very simple film, but for what it is, holy Star shit. Star Trek <sighs> Nemesis. I haven't seen that. Where he's uh It's okay Kirk's, if you want to keep Kirk's clone. Hey, it's okay yeah. if you want to keep yeah. green. That's fine. That's true. That's yeah, to- you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um here we go. Oh, here's a hard one, but a very funny one. Let me actually just pull this up on the uh Give me a second. It's not going to be very. Oh, you're uh, gonna pull the pictures. Very good radio. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that. Did, where did that Green Knight poster come from? Did the I get you that? The internet. No. The what? internet. Dude, that was one of my favorite movies well, that year. Oh my god, it was so good. I think that came out the same year as. Which the one Lamb. is it? The one behind me? Yeah. Out right there. Right oh there? yeah, I think you did get me that. I was like, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I got for your birthday or some shit. It's, good it's a badass movie, poster. Man. Here we go. Here's a good got, one. What you got? We have Rondell Sheridan. 
and Richard <laughs> Kind. <laughs> Dude, I'm keeping Richard Kind. Oh, man. Richard I Kine. absolutely am keeping Richard Kind. Absolutely. What has Rondell Sheridan been in? I don't know. But I saw a thing of them looking alike, and Cousin I was like, holy Skeeter, shit. Cousin Skeeter, bro. Cousin Skeeter. Yeah, Cousin Skeeter. Gonna... Uh, Corey yeah, in the Fox house. Show. <laughs> That's so Raven. <laughs> yeah. You know, lots of things I would really miss. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to keep Richard Kind. Oh, he was in That's Funny? I'm sure oh. it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that is a that is a pretty funny, um, wow, a... don't those guys really actually look quite a bit alike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bizarrely. It's that I can one. See it. I can see it. Yeah, Richard Kind's the man. Right. He is. He's, He's always got, enjoyable. Like, in the most horrible him. voice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at these two jamokes, would you? Yeah. Come on. Come on. It's, it's, he's aged pretty well, actually. I haven't really Yeah, not too bad. bad. Yeah. Um, hey, I got one. Oh, shit. Wait Jamie Presley or Margot Robbie? Oh, shit. Ooh. Present day or circa a certain time? Yeah, if it's 90s. If it's present day, Presley. Margot Robbie. If it's 90s. <clears throat> yeah, those are. Or early 2000s. Jamie Presley. I'm switching it up to yeah. Jamie Presley. Hunter. Hunter. Well, she was I like, think I'm going to keep Margot Robbie, no matter what. You're my sister. <laughs> I do, you I do have, really you like even, Margot Robbie, yeah. I will say. She's fantastic. Great, Man, great actress. It's like, how do you choose between The Wolf on Wall Street and Joe yeah. Dirt, though? That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking serious. I was no, thinking I more like just Playboy the, Like, Joe Dirt's fucking Jamie stupid. Priestley. But it's, oh, yeah. it's magic. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to have to keep fucking... I'm gonna have to keep fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, on that subject. Uh, Margot Rob, I forgot her name. Margot Rob. I gotta keep Margot. Yeah, All we'll right. keep her. Mar- That's fair. Margo. That's fair. You I got, got a really that. good one. You got what do you got? Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder <laughs> and and well, it's hard to see all the way over there. Eminem. <laughs> 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 Uh, I, I feel like this one's easy. That's what's fucking it, what's funny. What's it going to be, Winona Ryder or Eminem? I mean, Eminem changed oh. changed the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, but Winona Ryder was in Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I'm fucking Edward making it hands. real. Yeah. Yep. You guys remember when she so. got caught stealing shit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We were like, I was like, what? You Why? Guys, you remember when <laughs> Eminem like, got caught stealing stuff? My yeah. heart. My because heart. I'm going with, I'm you go with Eminem. Eminem. I would keep Eminem, yeah. too. Yeah, I think yeah. Eminem's way more, like, culturally important, but it yeah. is really hilarious is. that they look so much alike. It, that yeah. is strange. I mean, not an Eminem fan present day, but his first right. couple albums, oh, yeah, dude. they met something. Dude. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Um, oh, shit. This is one you actually got to kind of fucking look at. Uh, with some of the um, less, I got. Uh, I got to ask why. Why did you choose this pairing in particular? Those two, yeah. or... Winona Ryder and Eminem. Yeah. I just yeah. saw a side by side and was like, "Wow!" Yeah. But it was like, <laughs> like the, the same same angle yeah. and shit. Like yeah. same angle, same distance. I was I like, see. "Holy shit! Wow, they look a lot alike." Actually, um, I don't think in the two pictures that I provided. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this guy, Josh Dumel, Josh Dumel. and. Yeah. And Timothy Olfen. Oh, Keeping Timothy. Keeping Timothy Olfen. Timothy all day. I'm taking T.O. all yeah, day, but like, man. We talked about Shea Wiggum earlier, like one of my favorite character actors, Timothy Olfen. Timothy Olfen, yeah. yeah. As well. I feel like he I can play just anything. saw Josh Dumel in something that was actually pretty outstanding. He's did you, done some things. Did you He's get into Fergie, right? Did uh, you get into Justified? Uh, yes, but I did not finish it. Oh, oh okay. So yeah, so I've seen a couple Dude, seasons. Just that sound clip. Um... <laughs> But fucking love Justified. Yeah, Timothy Oliphant's fantastic. Oh, we know. And especially the theme song by Uncle Cracker. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's is that who it's by? I, just, no, I, I don't think so. Know. But it's a terrible theme song. Yeah, it's pretty bad. For one of the one of my favorite TV shows. Did you ever watch Deadwood? Yeah. Yeah. I, wa- I didn't finish it, but I've seen a lot it's of it. Great. It's good. I watched yeah, the first two seasons, seasons, loved it, and was just whatever was happening just in my life. About, yeah, I, I think that's I how I was. Yeah, I didn't have time, and then too much time passed, and I was like, eh. yeah. Um, here we go. How about Jeff Bridges and Kurt Russell? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, man, that is really rough because yeah. I was late to Kurt to Jeff Bridges. Excuse me, I was a Kurt Russell fan from birth. Really? Um, 
But Jeff Bridges, once I saw Fisher King, that's very young. I was like to be way into Kurt Russell. <laughs> no, I was. I love Big Trouble Little China. It was like I don't know. You My dad watched a lot of Kurt Russell movies, and I thought yeah, they were I could awesome. See yeah, one like, yeah. They, you like, know, he's they like are the awesome. arch and he's fucking star. cool as shit. Yeah. And then I saw the thing, and I'm like, which is top ten movie all time for me. So it'd be I would lean Kurt Russell in that way. Yeah, um, I think per- just for me personally, I got to go with Jeff Bridges. Keep keep it, Jeff Bridges. Yeah, <laughs> just for me. Man, yeah, that's fucking real hard. When I fought, saw Fisher King, I'm like, okay, I gotta watch all this guy's work. And so then I watched the stuff like even the obscure shit, like he did with Terry Gilliam and uh, Tideland. That was a really good movie. I didn't like critics didn't like it that much. Jeff Bridges is one of my all time faves as well. So man, Hell or High Water. Yeah. Oh man. god. Yeah. yeah it's even that fucking True Grit remake True, is. Yeah. Yes, he's amazing. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Like yeah. it's so fucking yeah. good. I was like, man, I remember uh, fucking me and my old man were just having a conversation. He was talking shit hard. Unlike at it, movie ain't gonna be no good. And then I was like, it's supposed to have Jeff Bridges as a uh, rooster. <laughs> he's like, and he's like, yeah, all right, oh, really? Well, <laughs> watch, yeah. yeah. And I was like, it's really good, man. Like, Dude, really, it's fantastic. Really good. Cohen's don't miss though. Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with Bridges. You keep him Bridges. Yeah, man. Which sucks because Kurt Russell's a fucking icon. I know. It's it, it's like it's like choosing your favorite. It's, yeah, it's like the tale or... of two different like lives for me it's like you know childhood is so tied to kurt russell but jeff bridges is like when i started becoming a cinephile you know i'm like yeah. i'm gonna deep dive on an actor or a director or you Can, know this one's a three-way tie oh shit. i don't think it's going to be that hard to pick um however the, the the these three gentlemen their the look is uncanny uh chris Pr- chris pine chris piss crime excuse me <laughs> uh <laughs> His Cremsworth, <laughs> yeah, and uh, Chase Crawford, I'm who plays being... Chase Crawford plays the Deep in the Boys. Oh, but I mean, just yeah. like the three of those dudes, they just look like a printer that's running out of toner. <laughs> 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 let me see. Let I me love see. it. Let me see that. Totally, totally. Hmm. I thought you were gonna throw on Chris Evans because I've seen side by sides with Chris Evans. I have as well, too. Yeah, that yeah. Works when, too. He, when he rocks the beard, yeah. for sure. Yeah, mm. I am. Uh, I'm keeping Pine. Chris Pine. Yeah, I think yeah. he's a very underrated actor. I did. I did. And I, I find him just to be extremely fascinating personally yeah. as well. So I heard mm-hmm. the pool boy is not great. I haven't seen anything. About I, it. I saw like a, a brief trailer and I'm like, this looks like a bit of fun, but yeah, maybe it's not. I don't. It yeah, got terrible I, reviews. I haven't but, checked it out, but uh, yeah, you know, maybe. I mean, they're not all hits. You're right. You know, you know what? I liked him in the Star Trek. Absolutely. I liked him in Star oh, Trek. Yeah, he's fantastic dude. is Kurt. Um, Man, I don't know if I could do away with Chris Hemsworth's Thor, even though I like really wasn't a big fan of the last solo I mean, movie. I'm going to yeah. mention Hell or High Water again. Chris oh, Pine. Chris Pine. God damn yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Like, I do have to keep that. That's better. <laughs> I liked than, him. I mean, uh, that's the better first than Wonder Woman anything movie Hemsworth was pretty has solid. Ever done. Like, and it was literally him mm-hmm. acting around everything. Mm-hmm. Sorry, like, what were you Gal saying? Because Gal Gadot can't. Uh, the first Wonder Woman movie. Oh, oh okay. yeah. He's great in that. Like, he carries the entire film because Gal Gadot go is she a model. Can't. She's not yeah. an actress. Right. Oh, yeah. And so he's literally carrying that entire film. Yeah. yeah. That's why that movie's. Oh, really pool, good. Uh, pool Man. That's the name of that. Pool Man, not Pool Boy. What did I say? Pool Boy. I think you said the Pool Boy. Yeah. yeah, it's a pool man. I was thinking of the it sandwich. Has ter- it has a 29 meta score and then a 4 out of 10 on IMDb. God Yikes. Damn. Wow. Okay, here's another one I have a picture of on my phone. Prepare yourself. Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins. Or Emma Watson. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally keeping Richard Dawkins. Come on. Yeah, I think. Way too I mean, important. Way, Uncanny. Yeah. I, I don't think yeah. this photo of her is doctored, Let but it's like. Again. I, uh, no, that's totally her. That's crazy, dude. I've never seen that. It's like one to one. That is <laughs> She's just young Richard Dawkins <laughs> with it's long like, hair. He, he made a clone of himself, but made it female. It's crazy. Right. Yeah, she just has like yeah. a slightly less blocky Well, it's fucking chin. Richard Dawkins. He probably did. <laughs> Richard Dawkins. <laughs> what, what, what are you even debating? <laughs> he's, a, he's done a lot for humanity, that guy, though. Yeah, oh, I'm, incredible. I'm, I'm sticking with Dawkins. One of the most brilliant people ever. Uh, let's see here. I've got a couple more of these. I've got uh, Zach Braff and Dax Shepard. Never been a Dax Shepard fan. Uh, huge Scrubs fan, so I'm going. I to love there. Scrubs. Yeah, yeah. Scrubs is one of my all-time favorite comedy um, series, probably. Garden State. Do you? Garden State's amazing. Yeah, it's good. yeah. great. It's like I watched it once a long time ago. I really remember liking it. That's a good indie. I film. think it's isn't it, isn't it Garden State from a book? Isn't the 
book. It's adapted from a novel, I believe. Yeah, is yeah. the or a short story maybe? Is it the same author that did um, Parks of Being a Wallflower? Maybe that I don't know. It oh. seems like that that it's, genre. Yeah, maybe. I was gonna say they sound similar. It doesn't say anything about Garden State being adapted from. Um, maybe not. I know Zach Braff wrote and directed it. Yeah, as well. right. So that's um, another. I think. Wh- wait, who was it? Zach Braff and. What was the other one? Dak Shepard. Dak Shepard. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, I've, I've never, never been, been a Shepard fan. A big she- Like, what's he been? I mean, I tell you what, he the, was in that I, without a paddle movie that was kind of oh big God. when I was a teenager. I know my that, stepdad I loved not, that movie, yeah, and I was I, just like, this is stupid. Dumb. Not, not good. I tell you, the best thing that I have ever seen Dak Shepard in is that fucking Chips remake. Actually, pretty fucking solid movie. Really? Yeah, nobody saw it because they're like, come yeah. on with this shit. But it's pretty I solid. I do know I've seen him something that I've liked, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Because it's Deck Shepard oh, and uh, Idiocracy. It was one time. Oh, yeah, it's probably. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I fucking hate him in that. Really? He's just, he's too dumb. I know right, that's, but every, that's the point. Some, but I'm yeah. saying like a movies that he's actually in, whether or not I liked him, I don't think there's any except for that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that I that I know of. I had to look it up. I was like, yeah. oh, there's one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah you got to keep, I think, yeah. I think you got to keep Zach Braff. Actually. All right, here we go. Uh, Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, oh no, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Will no. Ferrell. You know no. who we're going to keep. Come on. I mean, I think it's unanimously Will Ferrell. Yeah. Um, it has to be Will Ferrell, but put some respect on Chad Smith's name. He Especially is a hell his of a drummer. Drumio shit that he's done lately, I think, has proven any fucking doubts. He, he is, is a hell of a drummer. He's a way better drummer than people realize. Oh, he's really an is. amazing it's drummer. Crazy. His band is mid as fuck. Oh, I can't stand uh, the <laughs> Chili Peppers, personally. Yeah, I, I was like, into them up until, like, the about, Dave Navarro time. They got about four jams I like over also, them. Also, their early, early stuff. Is over like the breath uh, fucking over the, creep. Well, yeah, now I found that out recently as well, and I'm like, what the fuck? She's yeah. like yeah. twenty, I want to say. Well, not even, even that. That and yeah. there have been other things. Allegations in the past. of yeah, just not, not and good. good. Yeah. Oh shit! But uh, For sure. yeah, it's crazy. There was a video of uh, Chad Smith. They showed him a song. What was yeah, it's it? Dremio, and it's Thirty Seconds to Mars, yes, and he played it. the part perfect within twenty seconds of hearing. And the it's song fucking hilarious in its entirety. Because he's and like, like, "Do you want a second take?" He said, no, like, "No, I think I'm good." He's like, uh, "Oh, he, <laughs> it starts playing." And he's like, "Oh, it's some emo shit." <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what. Yeah, immediately. I was like, "Yeah." It was not even five, ten seconds in. He knew oh, that. Shit. oh, oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. Now try it. Here's, yeah. the, here's a hard one. I have always thought that, that Helen two. Hunt and Lily Sobieski. Yes. So here's wow. my challenge to you: is tell me which woman is in which movies without googling it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna because they both came up right about the same time too. Really? Uh, no, you don't Le- think so? No, she's way younger. No, Lily, she's. I'd say right? there's at least eight to ten years difference there, and as far as career. Well, let me put it this way: Helen Hunt. The first thing I remember her from was Mad About You. What yep. my, my parent, my well, not my parents, my mom watched Mad About You, so. I thought she was like I was. She was kind of endearing, if you will. Yeah, yeah. My folks you know. watch Mad About You. Um, I never minded her. There's a 20 year difference there. Really? They're they're 20 years apart. I was gonna say, as far as careers though, she might have started oh, acting maybe. younger. Yeah, I think. So, right. Yeah, Sobieski started acting, at least as far as being in things that I recognize. I should say. I feel like you mm. got to keep Helen Hunt though, right? Well, like she's Jurassic Park. She's not in Jurassic Wait, Park. She's not Laura Jurassic Dern. Park. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> that's, that's, Laura that's Laura Dern. Shit. That's who I meant to. Okay, it's, now it's a three way. <laughs> no, oh, Laura did D- you mean to put no. Laura Dern? Or Maybe, also, yeah. Yeah, we're keeping how, uh, Laura Dern because she's an all time great, <laughs> right. great actress. Yeah, that's not even close, really. Yeah. What else was. Um... Oh, she was Helen Hunt was in uh, As Good As It Gets, Twister. Yes. Yeah. She was good in As Good As It Gets as well as Twister. I like As Good As It Gets. I've heard I've seen that in a really Twisters. long time. What was uh, the other girl in? What's she been in? Lily Sobieski? Yeah. No fucking idea. A lot of a lot of indie shit. Um but in I thought she's isn't she a model turned actress? One of those? Yeah, it looks like she hasn't done anything right. So she yeah, was in uh, it's been a long time. Never been kissed, Joyride. Yeah. Joyride is the thing I remember from prominently. In the name of the king in 88 minutes. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you got to keep Helen Hunt, I think. All right. If yeah. He's like, it's I'd agree with that. Yeah. Uh, here we go. This one's got a stipulation. Oh, Step into shit. my time machine, and we're going to go back to 2005, right. and you have to choose between Amy Adams and Isla Fisher. Mm. As of 2005. Damn, son. Which is crazy because Amy Adams is the easy choice present day, but yeah, none of the amazing stuff she's been in has come out in two thousand five. That's true. Like none of the awesome stuff. 
mm. and it's just like Isla Fisher's entire career. Yeah, at that with that point, with that like, handicap, she's like that crazy you gotta, horny girl from Wedding Crashers. <laughs> you got it, yeah, <laughs> right. absolutely. Well, when Wedding Crashers oh six, I think it was I don't know, oh man. four. Oh okay, right? That might be right. I just remember the titty montage. Yes. Um, no, it was oh five. Oh five. Okay. Nice. Well, that that's the deal maker or breaker for me in two thousand five. It's yeah. just wedding, wedding crashers. crashers. Yeah, I think so. Depends on which side of the coin you come down on. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I probably would have went Isla Fisher in oh five, but present Amy day, Adams. What has she done up to that point? Like Enchanted or whatever Disney movie she was in. Oh uh, yeah, I was like maybe so something maybe like a Disney that. thing. I didn't even know that until like the last year. My wife was watching with her oldest daughter. I'm like, she was a Disney actress. Yeah. But then yeah, you hit oh six, and uh, she she was in. Um, Talladega Nights, yeah, right. Amy Adams. Right. Yeah. So it's like uh, that was the start. Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> Man, Arrival is one of the so many fucking. Oh, dude. Dude, yeah, Arrival just fucking blows Period. my doors off. Yeah. What's that movie? Um, fuck, we covered it on the podcast, but it's like one of the first ten episodes. I don't remember what it was called. It's her and fucking Christian Bale, but he's like fat and bald and has a comb over. Oh, uh, oh it's, uh, it's Chain, the Dick Cheney movie, right? Yeah, because um, she plays his wife, David O. Russell movie. No, this is different. Oh, no, that's American Hustle? Is it American, American Hustle? Hustle? Oh, yeah, you're talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're also in that together. Yeah, I know what you're talking but about. They, they they Dick Dick Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. yeah, I think it was called Dick, maybe. Uh, uh, Vice, good. maybe? Yeah, Vice. Vice. That's, Vice. Yeah. Yeah. that's a good yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, Dude, so how do you feel about Nocturnal Animals? Did you like that? I have. N- that's like the one movie that I've not seen yet, and I Ooh. keep reading stuff about it on blogs. I'm like, I gotta. I, gotta I, check I it out. love it. It's yeah. like it's. I don't know. For whatever reason, I just missed it when it came out, and it feels it like dirty. It does. I've I don't heard know. That, check it out. Yeah. Aaron it's, Johnson Taylor's in there, right? Or Taylor uh, Johnson as well, I think. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, uh, I just has, saw him in. Um, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is one of my favorite actors. Uh, Michael Shannon is in it. Yeah, Michael Shannon. Fall guy. Like the, uh, yeah. yeah I oh, that's funny. In, uh, I just saw him. Amy in Fall Adams guy. and is it Isla or I? Isla Fisher. It's, I think they're, they're Isla. both in Nocturnal Animals. Oh yeah, nice. It's funny. Yeah, I kind of forgot about I that. Seen that one yet. Yeah, you should check that out. Uh, it's so my last one I got, and then I guess we'll take a little break, like get a beer, take a piss, yeah, that sure. sort of thing. Um, all right, uh, Jessica Chastain. Or Bryce Dallas Howard. Ooh. Can you need a side by you, side. Uh, yeah, can you get a give us I a side you, by side I got there? You, baby, I'll see here. Are we, this is entire career. No handicap on this one. Bryce Dallas Dallas Howard. Yeah, is there a is there a handicap or are we just going? Uh, full career, I guess. Yeah, there's no um no real pointer on here. I'm going Jessica Chastain. Yeah, I think I have to keep Jessica yeah. Chastain. Yeah, I definitely was going to have to go Jessica Chastain. I thought maybe She's... somebody might be Bryce Dallas Howard, and then we'd, she we'd have a chat amazing. about it. She's amazing. <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen Molly's Game? Yes. Oh, God, okay, the movie's incredible. Have like seen she's in the she's eyes of Tammy incredible Faye? in it. I haven't seen the eyes of Tammy Faye. It's all it's on my it's list. It's incredible, dude. Yeah. Her and um, Andrew Garfield are amazing in it. I, 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 so I really underrated. Like Andrew Garfield a lot. Yeah. 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 Big fan of Garfield the cat. <laughs> yeah. Not his latest <laughs> movie though. Not his, a fan. I don't. I don't know what it is with the lasagna. They just <laughs> dropped all the original Garfield lore, and they were like, <laughs> "Fuck yeah. it, it's this now." Now it's Chris Pratt as Garfield. You got to stay on brand with your Garfield. Man. Most overrated actor in, in I agree. Hollywood. Right. Right. It's like a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. You know, if they were going to do another <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog movie, yeah. But they but. were just like Sonic the Hedgehog. He's in Chicago, <laughs> and he's got to deliver pizzas. <laughs> Garfield delivering can't, pizzas. He can't run fast. You know, he just has to take a bicycle like everybody <laughs> else. You're shitting. Me. Um, so it's like you just have stripped everything away that makes it what the a fuck Sonic the Hedgehog thing. But that's what they did with that Garfield movie. It's got nothing to do with Garfield. John Arbuckle's in it for 15 seconds. Wow. Yeah, All it's right. fucking dumb as shit. Garbage. That sounds dumb. Yeah, it is garbage. Yeah. We, like we went, my kid was super excited to watch it, and we just like left before it was over. She's like, I don't give a fuck about this. Man. The only good Garfield outside of the comic strip, obviously, is the '90s cartoon. Yeah, you know, which is not bad. No, it's not bad. I mean, it's goofy, but it's not bad. Sure. Uh, okay. I, I get. Does anybody have anything they want to add to uh, doppelganger doppelganger time? Doppelganger city. Doppelganger city. I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure there are others. Oh, uh, I was just looking at looking the list. Here's a hard list. one I got for you. What do you got? De Niro or Pacino? De Niro. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No, no, you got I'm like, fuck, Dog Day Afternoon, Serpico, and yeah. fucking... Yeah. I Because th- I, I always think, think of Scarface. Pacino, right? I always right. think of Scarface when I think of Pacino, but that's like... I don't he, know why because I like Heath's a bunch one of, of my all-time favorite movies. God, fucking De Niro though, man. Dark Knight rips off Heath. Cape Fear. 
Uh, I'm probably going De Niro for this is the X factor for me because he's done so much with Martin Scorsese. I mean, that's true. Top, top ten director all time easily, <laughs> maybe top five. I'm sure, a lot of people might even say he's the best, but. Yeah, I, just for that. Shit. That's the X Factor. <laughs> Your fucking face. You trying to do it? <laughs> oh, that D shoes. You fuck my wife. You, you fucking shoes. You, you fuck my wife. <laughs> you fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck my wife. What Is about, fucking funny to you? Hey, what about <laughs> Will Arnett or Patrick Wilson? Oh fuck! Ooh, I like that. Will Arnett. Will Arnett. God, I like yeah. Patrick Wilson though, like a lot. Right. I, yeah. Patrick Wilson's I'm, great, but yeah. I, but you got to keep yeah. Will. Arnett. I don't want to live in a world without <laughs> Will Arnett. You know what I mean? Yeah. Will Forte or Chris Parnell? Oh, and you have to think Ooh. about all of Chris Parnell's like voice acting stuff of recent as well. God, he's in so much. Damn. I love him as Jerry and Rick and Morty. That's literally one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I think Chris Parnell is pretty underrated. He, if oh. you need a guy to play like super dry corny as fuck yeah like and any anything that's your dude man. chris parnell in 30 rock yes i love him oh I dude he's him. great fantastic as uh doctor doctor uh do they how do they do they say because it, it's just spaceman but did they yeah. does he say it different or something he's like dr spachemin or something yeah, like that. yeah. <laughs> yes. but it's, yeah. it's just it's spelled, spelled spaceman <laughs> exactly that's the bit, yeah. sure. 30 rock all and he big, knows so. nothing about science like he's right it's so fucking He's funny. Dumb as hell. Like, did you ever watch Thirty Rock? He's almost oh, yeah. like uh, you. You brought me. Okay. The, you're like, yeah. hey, watch this whole season. The, yeah. This box set, DVD set. And I was God like, damn, okay, it's bro. So funny, man. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a fucking good show. Um, God, I, I guess Chris Parnell. I guess right. Chris Parnell. Mm. I feel bad about it though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad. About <laughs> it. I feel bad about it. I feel bad about it, but not bad right. enough to change it. Let's take. Uh, a, let's take a break. And we're gonna take a little break. Late night. Maybe like 3 a.m. Could use a little something else, maybe something kind of sweet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't cut this, so we got like a one and done situation. Ooh. I'm gonna just whip out my phone here and go to 3 a.m. sweets.com. Oh, God. But then the wind blew in. I entered a code. Come joke. Ooh, twenty five percent off. This is a real ad. Please send some business to three AM Sweets dot com. Hell yeah. It. Hey, this is Barrett from the ATI Podcast. Episodically, I will be chatting with a featured guest bringing a spotlight to their craft. Artists, musicians, filmmakers, actors, small businesses, athletes. Nothing is out of bounds. Hear my discussion with rising talents and entrepreneurs across all traditional podcasting platforms, as well as YouTube. Like what you hear? Be sure to subscribe to the podcast channel of your choice, whether that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. Just click the subscribe button and leave us a five-star rating. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube, where you can get full video episodes of the ATI Podcast and see our guests in their work. Stay in touch with our ongoings, events, and guest lists across all major social media outlets. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, X. Just search the ATI Podcast. We would like to thank you all for your continued support. And as always, stay safe out there. What's next? Uh, I guess next would be... Um, oh, uh, did you did you want to do a welcome back? Or are we just fucking... Yeah, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. We're <laughs> back. Welcome to the <laughs> the podcast you've been listening to. Here we are. I love it. If we're you back. were a Beach Boys song, what Beach Boys song? Would you <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, okay, let's see here. We've got um, okay. We got two options left. We've got the pitch room, and we've got the Roger Ebert game. But I have to get out my other laptop to play the Roger Ebert game. Uh, I mean, I feel like you probably Just should have already done that out of convenience. Well, I feel like. 
Yeah. You know, <laughs> you try it then. I was going to say the Roger Weaver <laughs> game, but then when you said there was an extra step, I'm like, maybe not. Maybe not that. But. Will you hand me that laptop? <laughs> Either of you? Where's it at? Right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess. That MacBook Pro. You son of a bitch. That Macintosh. Macintosh. Oh, I don't need that keyboard, right. boss. Thank you. So this is for the uh, the Ebert game? Yes, or... this is... Okay, so... Here comes the segment, the <laughs> Roger Ebert game. Last time you had uh, little little pieces of paper. Are you not... You no, know? Okay. no, I fucking spreadsheeted that shit. Okay, okay. I was just... Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just... I was just wondering. You know, I don't be trying to fuck with physical media. <laughs> <laughs> Digital boy. <laughs> I'm all digi baby. Let's see here. Okay. Let me just get us a, a random number generator here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right. We got here. Seven ski. Okay. So here's how we play the Roger Ebert game. Um, it's just like the Leonard Malton game. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what what's going to happen here? Bear from the TV show The Bear. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am going to give you the category, mm-hmm. the release year, mm-hmm. the star rating, which is one through five for famous film critic Roger Ebert. Yes. I'm going to give you a brief statement of his review. And then you have to guess how many names in reverse order of billing right. that it would take for you to be able to guess the title of the film. Okay. Is there any limit to the number of... Ten. People? Okay. Ten. Yeah. There are always ten. That's so, right. like, the most famous two people in the movie are going to be the last two you're going to Gotcha. Hear. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Are you ready? This is a disaster film that really slims it down. Uh, <laughs> in 1998... Roger Ebert gave it two stars and said, I personally found it easier to believe that Earth could survive this doomsday scenario than that of the Messiah spacecraft could fly at thousands of miles an hour uh, through the comet's tail, which contains rocks the size of... Shit, sorry, I couldn't read it all. (laughs) God, this is taking forever. You want me to just go and tell you the movie? Uh, rocks the size of two car garages without serious consequences. I think we both probably know this one, right? Yeah. What do you think it is? I think it's Impact. Impact is incorrect. Oh, oh really? Oh. Wow. Is it on to me? You drink your beer, sir, and it is on to you. Okay, so how does this work? I I can I say how many how many how many uh. Actors in reverse, in reverse order of billing from the top ten. Top ten people. Top ten people build in the film, mm-hmm. but we're gonna flip it. So you get did you number get ten first. I know you read the comments, but did you? What was the rating again on it? Was it two? Two point five. Okay. Two point five out of five stars. I said five names, maybe. Five pack. We've got uh, Laura Ines, John Favreau, James Cromwell, Lily Sobieski. <laughs> <laughs> And Maximilian Shell. This is a disaster movie from 1998. A disaster movie from 1998. Messiah spacecraft chasing the tail of a comet. I will say you were close, but you were wrong. Oh, I know exactly what is it, it is. It's not contact. I know it? exactly what it is. It's not contact. I'm sorry. I should have oh guessed God. this. Drink your beer. Or your water. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's Armageddon. Beer. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Fuck. No, you colder. You drink your uh, <laughs> damn. Drink your drink LaCroix. Your LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> What's out? Here we go. I'm just okay. It's fine. I'm gonna do a little bump of cocaine. <laughs> is it? It's not Independence Day, is it? I can't. Are you just saying movies now? <laughs> no, it's not. Drink, drink your beer. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't, I don't know. know. You can get more names. <laughs> I, oh fuck! I forgot. <laughs> there, I will take more, man. There are five names. more. How many? How many you think you need? Uh, three. <sighs> okay. All right. So you've got uh, Laura Ness, John Favreau, James Cromwell, Lily Sobieski, Maximilian Schell, Morgan Freeman, Vanessa Redgrave, and Elijah Wood. You know what's hilarious about this? This entire time I've been like, what movie is Morgan Freeman in that came out in 98 that is a disaster film? Yeah. So I know that Morgan Freeman's in this. You're so close. But uh, you're so, Your first guess was so close. What was your first guess? Impact. Impact. That's very close. I cannot remember the name of hmm. the movie. 
that was similar to that. There were so many that come out that year, man. Oh, around that time, even. yeah. There's two more names, and you got to guess. First contact. Oh, drink your uh, Croy. Just the. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> One of these is like a hard but wait, this was, is this the J uh gimme give gimme give them stars. You want them? I got Taya Leone and Robert Duvall. Ooh, Ooh Bobby D. Do you know it? He, he does. It's your guess. No, he knows No, I know. He but knows I, it. He knows it. But he just can't get there. He just can't he can't. I don't I don't know it. I don't know that I would know it. I might have um, guessed it, but you know, disaster movies in ninety eight. There's five, yeah. two dozen of them. I mean, it was Robert Duvall. Like that, it gets it gets me close, <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't quite get me there. Disciple got me there though. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah, have possibly. to drink because I I don't even have a guess. Okay, is it first impact? Drink your beer. It is deep, deep God impact. Damn ah! God damn it! <laughs> damn, so close. All right, that's a goodie. That's a goodie. All right, let's see here. Let's Fuck. generate another. I'm terrible at this here game, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't notice, ah, uh, damn, I should have known that one. All right, here we go, bird. Here we go, bird. Oh, this is right up your alley. Uh, this is a 2001 action film that Roger Ebert gave a three out of five. Roger said it has some of that grandiose, self-pitying dialogue we've treasured in movies like this ever since Rebel Without a Cause. How many names? Uh, uh, in reverse order of billing until you can guess. What year was this? Two thousand one action. Two thousand one action film. Three out of five. Uh, so. give me four names. Ooh, we've got Ted Levine, Ja Rule. Oh God! <laughs> no way. Matt Schultz and Johnny Strong. Is it Triple X? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's such a good guess. Yeah. It I is. have no idea. Get hydrated. <laughs> Get hydrated. I'm about to. I'll, uh... What about you? What do you think you got? I'll take two more names. Chad Lindbergh and Rick Yoon. Fast and the Furious 2. Oh. Drink. Damn. You're LaCroix. This is, like, really low stakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, all right, though. I don't mind. Uh, how many How many you want, Bird? So we have six out there? There are four names four remaining. remaining. Give me, uh... Give me two. Jordana Brewster. This might do it for you. Michelle Rodriguez. Oh. 2001 action? 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. It's not the original Fast and the Furious, is it? Ding, ding, ding. It oh, is shit. the original Fast and the Damn, Furious. Damn. I was close. You were close. Uh, remaining to be billed, Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. Yeah, Michelle Rodriguez. I was like, wait yeah, a minute. It had to be. You each want to do another one? or? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Right. I'm down. I'm down. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. This is a superhero movie from 2000, uh, which Robert Ebert gave me a 2.5 out of 10. Um, out of 10 or out of 5? Out of 5. I think I Not 10. Uh, I started out liking this movie while waiting for something really interesting to happen. When nothing did, I still didn't dislike it. I assume, character, uh, will further develop in their personalities if there is a sequel and maybe find time to get involved in a story. How many names? Uh, Barrett? Yeah. Yeah, it, it'd be him. Let's start with five. Five pack, huh? Five pack. Oh, you got this. You got this. Uh, Tyler Maine, Rebecca Romaine Stamos, Bruce Davidson. X-Men. You got it. Boom. Yeah. You got I thought it, it was X Men to begin with. Yes, sir. <laughs> 2000. Yeah. yeah. That's Fucking the literally was the only movie I could think of from 2000 that was a superhero. Superhero. Movie. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick Stewart. I was wondering how. And uh, I did. I did remember that Ebert kind of shit on it, but also he could have said worse. The first one that came to mind, but I think this was a few years after, was uh, Fantastic Four. Yeah, the first Fantastic Four was when either was it, like, oh, oh, two or three, yeah, I want to say, thinking, because yeah. it had Julian McMahon and it played Doctor Doom from Nip Tuck. Hmm. Okay, uh, here is a rom com from 1989. Oh, Good luck. Fuck. Roger Ebert gave it, I mean, his reviews are old. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. 
I don't need any modern critics. Yeah, but also, like, I was kind of a nerdy kid and, like, started re- watching the Ebert show and stuff, so I'm, like, kind of aware of <laughs> some of the shit that's just not good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so he gave it a three out Ooh. of uh, out of five. That's three, decent. Five, eight, nine, nine. Uh, <laughs> and that's what he said about it. How many names? <laughs> All right. Uh, they fight happiness every step of the way until it finally wears them down. I guess I'll... I don't know, five, five names? Yeah, I was like, good luck. I'd have a hard time with this one until it got to the end. Uh, David Burdick, Robert Allen Booth, Gretchen Palmer, Michelle Nicastro, and Lisa Jane Persky. Wait, that's only four. No, that's five. That's five. 1989 rom-com? 1989 rom-com. Dude. They both fight happiness constant every step of the way until it wears them down. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. <laughs> like, uh, it's a hard one. I'm just gonna drink because I have. I don't even have a guess. Okay, what do you think, Bear? I'm gonna need three more names. Three more names. Okay. You got them: Stephen Ford, uh, Carrie Fisher, and Bruno Kirby. And the last two might give it to you. <clears throat> I don't have a remote guest either, so I'm just gonna yeah. Gonna drink just the a bush bunch, light. They're just a bunch of people that I yeah. don't. Uh, <laughs> Carrie Fisher. The only thing I, mean, I know Carrie her from Fisher, is Star Wars. Star Wars. That's yeah. It. Well, really. well uh, and she had a famous mother. How many more names you got? <laughs> I got two remaining. <laughs> well, go either one of them me. might give it away. You want both? Yeah. Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan. Oh, oh God! Is it Sleepless it. in Seattle? No, no. Oh, fuck. What am I thinking of? Probably it's Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> Are they in those movies? Probably. <laughs> Just not with these other people, yeah. I guess. It's a Rob Reiner movie. Um, I think it is a Rob it's Reiner movie. It's where they're sitting at the table and it's, they're having the sex talk loudly in the fucking restaurant, but I cannot remember the name of the goddamn movie. Oh. Did you look it up? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the Ooh, movie. Oh, drink that beer. It's when Harry met Sally. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. And maybe that other one. <laughs> Sleepless in Seattle was a few years after, but yeah. it had Meg yeah, it was early in 90s. It. Like was 92. Billy Crystal also in it? No, it was uh, Tom Hanks. What? Why did oh. Billy Crystal just quit doing stuff? I don't, I'm not sure. Don't he's like one of the, I think he's Princess very Bride, funny. He's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I was always a big fan of him. All right. And uh, I think we're going to do maybe. one more for you, Bird. And then uh, next segment. One more uh, Ebert game? One more Ebert game. Are you ready for it? All right, let's do it. This is another diva- disaster film. Oh, fuck. From 2004. But it's, it's a little bit better because Roger gave it a three out of five. Hmm. Uh, it makes for a fun movie, though, especially the parts where Americans become illegal immigrants in Mexico and the vice president addresses the world via the Weather Channel. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? What? Or- would you like me to read it again? No. Okay. <laughs> um, just start out with five names. I have actually never seen this. Uh, Sasha Ruiz, Sasha Ruiz, uh, Tamlin Tomita, R.J. Smith, Austin Nichols, and Sella Ward. <laughs> no idea who any of no, these people don't. are. Nobody does. Two thousand four disaster film. Two thousand four disaster film. I don't know, dude. The day after tomorrow. <laughs> that was literally going to be my guess. That, that was going to be my guess. That was literally going to be my guess. It's the only one I knew from that year. That's fucking That's it, great. man. Yes! You Good nailed job, it. Dude. Good job. Very nice. Oh, that's the only yeah. one from that year. Yeah, that's the only one I knew of from that year. That's what they, were, they were trickling out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they were just, fuck yeah. They were just the pre C. Everybody's just like, what are they going to call the next one? The fucking week after next week? <laughs> the happening? Yeah. <laughs> the happening. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm fucking glad you just got that. That's sweet. That's awesome. It's pretty good, I guess. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, let's see here. Pitch room? Pitch room. Pitch yeah, let's do it. Um, pop, 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 pop. Oh, it was the pitch room where you had... Uh, like the plot the little, devices, yeah, the little yeah, pieces yeah. of paper, like a like yeah, an idiot. yeah, like an idiot. Yeah, that's what I was doing. That's what I was about. Fuck. Hold on, two seconds. Sorry, I don't have a guy for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull it up. Uh, Jamie, yeah. pull that up. Pull that up, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Danny Rogan <laughs> All right. podcast. All right. <laughs> Fuck Mary, kill Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, Mark Marin. <laughs> Mark Barron. <laughs> and uh, 
I don't know who's got another podcast. John Stewart. John Stewart. Yeah. Does he? He has a podcast yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So what's it gonna be? <laughs> Fucking love John Stewart. Well, I'm gonna marry John Stewart. Yeah. And I'm gonna fuck Mark Marin, although I feel like he'll cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he will for sure cry about it. He'll say, "What the fuck?" Yeah. 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 Does this say cafe bussin? <laughs> no. Cafe. Oh, cafe. Cafe. That's a good expression. Yeah. It's, uh, it's cafe bussy. <laughs> bussy. Actually. It's uh, actually French. It's, it's pronounced bussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. We should have a cafe and call it Cafe Bussin. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, it's our next good venture. <laughs> do good business. Be a part of the okay. It's just Two Movies Network. <laughs> yes, I would be down for that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do it. Get a goddamn job, Al. You got a negative attitude. Old album has a clear, crisp sound and a new sheen of consummate professionalism that really gives the songs a big boost. All right, what do you want first? The genre, setting, uh, type of character, or plot device? I've also added a field that is going to generate a random actor. Ooh. Ooh nice, I like that. Uh, Although, let's, go, let's, go, uh, let's go genre first. Genre first, we're doing a psychological thriller. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Psychological thriller. Do you want to know who's in it? Yeah. Let's do it. I know this makes for great playing. So, <laughs> let's see here. Okay. Stars. Greg Germain or German. Greg German, maybe. Can we get someone famous? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I don't know. Or well, I guess maybe, I can keep scrolling. Maybe someone, someone that's someone a little famous. more well known. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why yeah, don't yeah. we. Uh, or we can just. We could just like flesh out the other categories and just choose our yeah. own for yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Let's do fun. that. I think okay. that's like the fun the funnest part of it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, you're right. I thought generating a random actor would be yeah. smoother than that. No, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I didn't. I didn't think that. I knew. So we got psychological thriller. Yep. Yeah. Are we doing subgenre? Or are we just? Is that it? I mean, we can if you like. You can. I guess you can pick one. We'll see where this. Uh, I mean, we can look at the setting. Yeah, let's do the setting. Yeah, uh, let's see. Here. This is uh, we are psychological thriller uh, in a home or dwelling. Okay, mm. so something that takes place in a residential setting. Okay, yeah, I can dig. So can you dig it? Actors in mind, a, a setting, setting of our choosing, right? Though, right? Like, a, is or is it home specifically? It just a, a home or a dwelling, home dwelling. To, someone's home or like, like where apartment. they live. So. Right. If that happens to be, you know, some that someone can live wherever you like, got it, but got it, it, it happens yeah. in their home. Okay. Like panic room. Yes. Mm. Nobody's got a panic room, but that whole movie sure. takes place inside of Jodie Foster's house. Yeah. Spider memento largely based out of the apartment. Mm. Yeah. Slash hotel room. Fuck, that's a wild movie. I need to yeah. rewatch. Which that. movie? Memento. 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 Mm. Yeah. We've th- we've talked about doing it for the show. Yeah, some of that's so like some of those old cult classics I wonder about going back though. You know what I mean? My, like I haven't seen Boondock Saints in a long time, but Boondock Saints did, doesn't age. But, it doesn't hold up um, very well. I bet it does. Memento does. Memento. Yeah. Yeah. I did it for a film class in college after I'd already seen it several times. Uh plot device is rags oh, yeah. to riches. That's the plot device? Can be, yeah. Hmm. We can always re roll them, but that's the random one. Well, I think the fun of it's trying to make it work too. That's a hard. I feel like that's a pretty hard one. Rags to riches, psychological thriller in a dwelling takes place in the home. Oh fuck! How about um, a? I know there's a, there's a handful of these out there, but how about like a um uh like a girl that does OnlyFans or whatever? You know what I mean? No, no, I'm serious. It no, no, that's a, like a psychological works. thriller where it's like she thinks she's being stalked, but maybe she has like. Right, um, right. She has some sort of uh, like something it. happens to her, and maybe she's like luring yeah. people to her place to kill them and dispatch right. them or something. Right, right. They'll switch a room, or maybe she's right. a Dracula. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I didn't no, I laugh it. as in like that's that's like you bringing that up. That's that's it's really a great idea. I, I, it's a good idea. Yeah, I've like seen, I think yeah. of things like The Host or things like that. Yeah, where it's like, I was like, there's know, movies kind of like that yeah, out yeah. there. You anyway. have to kind of search something adjacent to kind of spark ideas, and I think that's. A good launching off point is a lot of like. I was just thinking about work from home, and then I'm like, regular right. work from right. home job would be boring. any hoist. Right, yeah. nobody wants to see that. That like a like a somebody who like makes online like adult content be like, ooh, that's a little, that's a little, that's a little, <laughs> right, sexy. Right. That's spicy, that's a little naughty. <laughs> yeah, like any 
any hosting platform can be the interface, whether it's like work conferencing or OnlyFans or you know, it's just, and there there's are all kinds some, of things out like there's some decent fans like that. Um, For, yeah, right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all of that can work. That's a good idea. I like that. Only fan, I really like, like the OnlyFans aspect of it because you can make it, you know, uh, the damsel in danger, distress type thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up? And the, uh, I, just, the I, I like the idea that just at the very end you discover that she's a Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fun. It's like a once bitten, but. <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You it's like out. at the very, very uh, <laughs> so yeah, on the front. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's funny stuff. Because she goes, it could do like mind control. We go you know comedy. I mean? once again, like it's like we do. Control. We just always go comedy, dude. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it could still be a psychological thriller. Right? So the guy that signs up for the OF, it's Gene Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, all time great. Actor. What was what Anything. was the other? Was there another category or like another uh, character? Yeah, we don't have a character yet. Right. Well, I think uh, we can we can do like a character needs to have some type of turmoil or what I, establishes who they are. Here, I'll give you an example. We can use this or not use it. Doesn't matter. Like they're a drug addict. Entertainer. Wow. Oh my god. Well, that that's perfect. Entertainers. Perfect. I guess we did have a character. Yeah, she, she's an entertainer. You because know, I mean, essentially, if you use the OnlyFans that yeah. point of view on it, I think it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. I mean, yeah. I don't know enough about it to. Maybe they, you know, it can be like one live, of the psychological live stream porn thing or whatever. Yeah, but you, you can take I mean? a kind of a serious take with it, like a take shelter where everything's going on in their head and like they just read the tea leaves where there isn't maybe yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know and then ultimately and then it turns out is. it's real yeah mm-hmm. yeah like or you, like you're on the journey the whole time the hallucination and you're yeah. you're being tripped up like thinking this person's psycho the whole time yeah you know, they're, if they're going through some shit they need to be admitted or whatever and it turns out like there's some reality to that toward the end you know oh god i love take shelter like mm. a so good yeah because like the whole time you think michael shannon's fucking nuts right yeah and literally the end of it when he's like running and all the storms are in the background and shit it's like this motherfucker knew what was up it just the starts raining oil the whole time everybody <sighs> thought he was nuts mm-hmm. you know and he went to these extents so and now he died anyway because he went on vacation <laughs> <laughs> suckers for this sh- this shit is never go out. in never go on vacation yeah. stayed in your shelter just a little while longer so you guys want to want to pick our uh our star or what do you think our, well our, it's our, only our, fans otherwise i'd say yeah. michael shannon <laughs> 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 i don't know michael shannon uh, maybe some tits. Ma- maybe the michael shannon fans, is the works. maybe michael shannon is, is like the, the stalker guy type. the stalker or the murderer yeah. or the dude right. that comes over the, the prey item yeah. or whatever you know it's what like I mean? ha- hacking her ip and you yeah know, getting so who do we get shit. to play opposite of michael shannon who's the um who's the final girl or the oh the dude monster? jenna ortega would be a great pick i think jenna ortega yeah She's uh plays Wednesday she on the new Wednesday, Wednesday series. Yeah. She was in X. Um she was the person of color that was like on the porn set with uh Mia Goth and stuff in X. Yep. She was the cinematographer or director's girlfriend who That is ended a pretty that's a pretty good having sex on camera, came yeah. on the stars. She doesn't not look like a vampire either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know right? I mean? She has the macabre look about her. Yeah. I kinda, I, yeah. I really like that. It kind of fits yeah. If it's like if you want to go serious or our comedic take as well, I feel like this. Place. I feel like it's a good serious. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I like the vibe we have with the just like actual the, murder. Yeah. Well, maybe I mean, I don't know. Just the vibe we have with uh, or like the, the threat psycho- thereof, at least. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all it right. has to be. It's a psychological. She just lives in a shitty apartment. Yeah, in, yeah, a, yeah. in a kind of shitty Shoddy. neighborhood. Yep, yeah, trying to work our way up. Yep, yep, yep. yep. This is like and her this third is her job. side hustle. This is right. Yeah. Her, this is her passive income, if you will. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. You know, she's like mm. fucking flipping burgers or some shit. We could even do like a like a searching angle from it. Like maybe her her friend, her online friend or online coworker or whatever right. is like. Well, it, it's hey, only you're not fans, responding. So they... or I'm seeing weird shit in yeah. your chat or whatever. Exactly. Uh, so you've got there's like there's a detective cat and mouse game also going on. Yeah. Or are they going to be on time? Are they going to be too late? Are they going to figure right. it out? Right. Mm. I yeah. like it. That would be like your your spectator's point of view. And mm-hmm. would be even cooler, you know I mean? let's say, like it's like her top donor, like the person who's like yeah, heavily exactly. financially committed yep, to yep, her. Yep. So mm-hmm. it actually adds that layer of complexity to it because like she doesn't want to fuck her like 
perhaps primary source of income. It doesn't really matter at this point. And maybe he sees her at her other place of business. Right. That's how he finds her or something. That's you know what right. I mean? Sure. Yeah. The Dunkin' Donuts. Well, like, <laughs> you, you, you have to think that there's those types, though, yeah. that subscribe to that shit that are crazy and yeah. go to those links and do these things. Dude, so pay, it's, pay buku paint, bucks. Like, Plant this in realism every turn that you can, you know. So, oh yeah, yeah absolutely. definitely, absolutely. Yeah, I think it works cool on every she works level. the night shift at. I mean, could be some fucking greasy diner. Could be, yeah. I don't know. Matter. Greasy diner, I like. Uh, yeah, I like like I a waitress, a waitress at a greasy diner yep. or something like that. Or a mm-hmm. shitty cafe, shitty cafe. Yeah, yeah. some place where you can see a lot of people. Bodega, mm-hmm. pick even. out, pick Bodega out. Bodega works. Yeah, yeah, Bodega works. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think those are all fucking good angles. You got Jenna Ortega and fucking, uh... Could be Michael Shannon, or should we try to go for someone younger? We or could go uh, younger. Michael, you, know um, who, you know who would do younger, but could look way fucking creepier? Elijah Wood. Like, he would just look insane. I bet those motherfuckers are, like, probably you know within five to ten years of each other's age. If so they're just, like... Are... Hit him with a little, sure. ma- hit him with a little makeup. Oh, he's he he's can do older. creepy. He's oh older yeah, for dude, sure. like Maniac is great. Uh, he's fucking really yeah, he's, good in that Maniac. Creep. Yeah, creep many times actually. That's yeah. a pretty good. I, I like that. Remake. He's in Daddy's Home. Daddy's Home is fantastic. Yeah, it's a lot it's of one fun. of the first things I watched on my projector. It's like super uncomfortable. Yeah, like the whole first yeah. forty-five minutes just. It's not like, at all like it doesn't turn out in any way that you would think. No, like, watching the trailers and stuff. Yeah. I always appreciate movies like that, but like in a smart way. He's what do we call it? What's it called? Okay. Horny Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is a little older, but I, he also doesn't look like he's in his 40s. You know what I no. mean? That's what's crazy. Yeah, like, he's he's right. Still, right. Yeah. He can look boyish, but like can look thin and malnourished and mentally unstable. You yeah. look in his mean? late 30s. Yeah. But also can look. I like that pick. Because yeah. yeah. like you say, he just has that. Uh, he can just pull off that vibe Nailed so well. It. Yeah. Just the creep. Just. I Stop I got a pick that might beat it. Okay. Okay. I'm all I'm you all guys, ears. You guys are all about this guy, and I am too. It's one of the greatest actors coming up right now, Barry Barry Keoghan. Oh god. Oh, yeah. 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 He's that would like de- he's the best creep. Period. That would definitely work. That's Green Knight. Probably... He's more age appropriate. All the episodes you guys sure. have covered yeah. as well. You know, oh, he could do it. So if we could we could run a like a newspaper story or like a headline that keeps popping up on our computer or whatever about like yeah. a local area. They're turning up like dead sex workers yeah. and shit. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I like the Barry Keoghan pick. That's I like good. the Barry yeah. Keoghan pick. Dude, yeah. him in uh, the f- the fucking movie we just did. Uh, I know it's a, not new, but Killing of a Sacred Deer. Yeah, Killing of a Sacred yeah. Deer is amazing. Yeah, did you watch Saltburn? Saltburn, he's no, great. No, I haven't seen Saltburn. Got that yet. hammer flying. Got that hammer flying. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker's packing. Yeah. Yeah. My wife was washing and blushing. I was like, damn. You're <laughs> like, babe, you got <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, calm down. Could you there. leave the room, actually? <laughs> <laughs> you got to beat this thing down. <laughs> That's a good bit. I like that. That's because yeah. he's younger. They're probably yeah. around the same age, a little closer to the same age. Yeah, I it's think not it, that, it's that For matters, whatever but... reason to me, it makes it creepier when they're closer in age. Because to me... The thought is you're you're young, you're VRL, you should be able to get out and like get whoever you want, meet someone. And yeah. when it's somebody that you can see, because Barry Barry Keoghan is an actor, he can kind of play somebody who's got their shit together. Or he can play a complete a creep, which psycho, is the roles yeah. that he's best known for, oh, and yeah. I enjoy the most. Yeah, because he's fucking he's crazy, man. You I know, like you everybody guys, that can just be a very normal Banshees of Inner Sheeran. You guys cover that. Oh, he's yeah. like the unsung hero of that movie. I feel mm. like yeah. in many ways. You know, a lot, a lot is centered around him and how he's getting abused and stuff. But like mm-hmm. the complexity he can show, even with the most simple characters, like I think he's might be the star of the Green Knight. When I saw it in theaters, like I was just captivated by his. It's, he's really he's, good in it. Yeah, he like as far as pound for pound, like punch mm-hmm. for screen time, he's crazy. Yeah, it, you know. So I, I got to go. Yeah, yoga on me. That's a yeah. good. That's a good pick. Yeah, I, I like it. that. Yeah. What do we call it? Hmm. No, wait. How does it play out first? Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't. We we kind of have built a rough enough idea. Oh, like, we have. We've done. given enough, yeah, groundwork that it doesn't matter. Man. Um, who, so who could you see directing this is, is what I want to know. Oh, yeah. The, well, I like that. The artistic yes, like choice this. is a hard – this is the hardest like part of it, I think. I think I got a very fun one. Harmony Coin. You ever seen any Harmony Coin movies? Well, I'm about to find Kids. Out. Gummo, um, Lonely, um, Mr. Lonely, 
Julian the Donkey Boy. I'm familiar with Spring the name, Breakers, but I haven't seen his work. Spring Breakers, Trash Humpers, <laughs> uh, Beach Bum. <laughs> he's all Beach these bum. are. He's just naming them right off of Google. Yeah, yeah. Beach Bum is another one. I've named eight, I think, so far. I don't think I've ever seen any of these. Hmm. Baby Invasion. Oh, dude, he's an incredible. I like, really wanted to watch mid nineties. I just never got around to it. He's not the director of that. Um, I think he's he... just in it. Or no, uh, he may have a cameo. He's a weird guy where he's like he's friends with all these people you don't think, hmm. and uh, like he produces some stuff. Is and... that Last Days, that Kurt Cobain movie? Yeah, he's he is not the director of that. No, he's just like in it or something. I I think he maybe helped on the editing or has a producing credit on that. I'm pretty hmm. confident he didn't direct that. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any of these for real. Well, Harmony which Quarantine. one? If I was going to check one out, which one would you recommend? Gummo first Harmony <laughs> Quarry movie. If you watch Gummo or Julian the Donkey Boy and you're not about it, I've seen you're not going to be about any of this shit. I've seen clips from Gummo. His like, most I'm... accessible movie, in my opinion, might be Mr. Lonely, um, as far as like appeal to a wider audience. Hmm. But I think maybe his most famous film is Spring Breakers with... Yeah, that, I was going to say, that that one is... James Franco. It is... Sounds familiar. It almost but... had an immediate cult following. Hmm. Um, a lot of people like Beach Bum as well. Matthew McConaughey is basically playing himself <laughs> amped to beyond like the conga story of matthew mcconaughey oh, yeah. he's that character the whole movie hmm. okay I'm fuck which with is that. very fucking entertaining hmm. i think snoop dogg's in it if i remember right i haven't well, seen it since it came out hmm. do you have another pick that i might have seen anything by that's so weird that you like you picked one director i've never seen a single <laughs> thing they've made the name you know, like, I... I, I watch a lot of shit man yeah, yeah and i'm do. like i was gonna watch that i was gonna watch that i was gonna yeah, watch that. Yeah. i just never did i never watched any of these he's he's a trip man i i get on these like obsessions with directors so um i tell you who could do it and make it even more interesting because you made the panic room reference earlier It'd be david fincher Oh, that's true. Ooh, yeah, and yeah. he's very good with dialogue. I mean, when he uses people like Aaron Sorkin, but, um, you know, Social Network's perhaps the best dialogue movie ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You it's know, a fucking it's really, up there. it's really well written. Um, I like that pick that the one I was going to throw out there was, and I've, we've talked about him before is Jeremy Solner. I like Jeremy Solner. Yeah. But I like him more as like a indie on the verge of either revenge or action yeah. type thing, you know? Blue Rain is such a underrated gem and uh, Green a f- Room. A failed revenge Top. as yeah. far as like Blue Ruin. He's right, like right. trying to get revenge and he just Yeah. But yeah, uh, I like I the, think he did Murder Party. Was like I like the uh, I like the David Fincher. That's Yeah. I like when David sorry, Fincher goes gross. back and does like these not big productions like that. I'd like to put the constraints on David Fincher to like to create a, a low budget movie once again and yeah. see what he would do and the see, choices he'd make. Right. Because I feel like, you know, like you have to look at Mindhunter also, which is mm. David Fincher. So love it. Yeah. To me, like I think he could dial that in on yeah. the psychotic side of things. I mean, like he's done a lot of great. Seven is a top five movie all time for me. Right. Yeah. You I I, I beat the same drum a lot. I was gonna say Denis Villeneuve. Um, <laughs> just like I feel that look like at that man, dude. I Prisoners. Want, like yeah. I like the dirty, like yeah. textural, like in Blade Runner, yeah, twenty forty nine, like that. Cinematography. It's got Very a. Gritty. It's got a. It's got a texture to the film that I think would suit this, like the yeah. neon and like yeah. it's like dark underbelly kind of situation yeah. that I think would would lend itself to. He the gets creepy. the atmosphere right every time. Yeah, yeah, with his films, yeah. Because he changes genres and everything too, like right. Sicario. Yeah, too. Mm-hmm. that's yeah. got that kind of grit that you're talking about. Yeah, the fucking chameleon, that guy. Yeah. But I like the um, uh, Fincher. Uh, I like the Fincher and the uh, uh, Solner. Yeah. yeah, I think Fincher probably uh, both works. Of those, I like both of those uh, more. Than I would Solner. like to see Solner do something like that, just I, because it's not something he's done. Yeah. Fincher, I Fincher like to see directors challenge as themselves. As far as like the, the yeah. psychological, yeah, uh, it's not thriller. that I don't like it. It's just like I wouldn't have ever thought it because of what yeah. he's done in his past. Fincher really can do visceral, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <what laughs> Alien <I mean>? Three. <laughs> wet, just wet. <laughs> wet, wet is that the, back to the is CGI. that the name of the, the back movie? To the just wet. <laughs> Don't match my freak. We were we're ending this how we started it, of course. Don't match my freak. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. Um, yes, I I think any one of those would would work. Is there anything um, anything else you want to add to that, Berman? We could just call it freak. We could call it. Isn't that already a movie? Yeah. Well, the name. I guess we never freaks. rested on a name, right? 
so I feel like you'd have to be kind of cheeky on the OnlyFans. Like yeah, no, that's kind of what I was. Or like Fansly or, you know, those like-minded like subscription services. So you'd have to come up with something like kind of adjacent to that. So Yeah, I, I guess um, there's not a movie called Freak. Uh, there's a movie called Freaks, I, which has Emil Hirsch in it. He's such a mixed bag, Freaks, dude. Freaks is pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Freaks? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on my list. That's good. Because I haven't... Uh... It's uh, one of the, one of the like... One of the, man, like when Emil Hirsch, I like Emil Hirsch. When he yeah. comes to work, goddamn, he can, yeah, um, he's fucking real good. But boy, he is in some weird shit. I watched a movie where he's like an effeminate Southern man, and he's a stenographer in a courtroom. Oh, uh, I, I watched that, and I was like, is that a Richard it? Linkletter movie? I don't know. It was on Prime. Yeah, it, like production value was great. The story wasn't great, but yeah. dude, he was so committed to the role. Like I yeah. just forget. He is a good. Forget yeah. it's him 30 minutes in. Like, the movie yeah. wasn't great, but it wasn't his fault. Hmm. Yeah. How about something like, um, I know it, at the surface it's going to sound silly, but Buddy. So it's like fansly, only fans, that sort of stuff. But, like, you know, you want to lean into the, uh, uh, like, w- at the end of the day, what is only fans? It's like people getting on there to fucking jack off and see like, <laughs> yeah. movies and stuff. Right. So, but, like, a common turn is like, fuck Buddy. <clears throat> right? So... I think like you could be kind of cheeky with the naming at the same, but like have a stupid cheeky name, but have like a badass cast, a badass director, you know, I can see that. Just kind of lean into the silliness. No, I think that works. Yeah. Um, th- that's my play. No, I, guess. I yeah. like it. Yeah. So you know? yeah. Any, anything in that, in that Avenue, I think would fucking work out good. It's, it's somebody needs to contact, contact us about this movie yeah <laughs> get it made <laughs> yeah we yeah uh, what is an independent film by definition these days like something under 10 million i'd say maybe even higher than that probably like under 50 know. oh yeah yeah i think so right so you everything that we said it, it's you don't have to have much of a cast no because everybody can be off screen like friends they talk mm-hmm. to you on the phone or whatever you know, like you can keep the not a lot down of, on this. Not a lot of locations. This could literally be like a two to three set movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, right. Yep. And it'd work. Well, it takes mm-hmm. place in the home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the home and the, and the diner, the domus, maybe his or house, whatever. right? And her house and yeah. his house and her house. And you have to shoot him the whole time to oh, where there's fuck. no reveal from the back or what like if side you find profile. Out he finally fucking closes his laptop because he's going to her place or whatever. And as he's exiting, what you've thought the whole time has been his house is right. someone else's house, and there's dead bodies fucking strewn about. So or like he's he literally seen, like, lives in the next kitchen making her. a sandwich. He lives next door to her. He finally goes to leave, and he's like stepping over corpses and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucked yeah. up, man. Yeah. Yeah, but she's a Dracula. He doesn't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bring it back around. It's about to get fucking You and your fucking weird. Dracula. <laughs> you could do it tastefully and it would be fucking awesome. Uh, I saw that Abigail movie. Oh, we're just, uh, hold on. Uh, uh, next segment of the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All about you went right into it. What you, what you watching? Are we doing it? Are we going yeah. to... Hey, what you watching? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. you guys have anything else you want to... I, no. Man, I that was, think we tied that I think up. That's that's fun. I think that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Man, do you think... Um, okay, so with these, the Black Label episodes, I'm only going to release half of it on the regular feed? Sure. Mm-hmm. What do you... Which half? Oh, I don't... I mean, I mean does it, it have to be the halves, or are you splitting up into, like, per oh, break or quadrants or fucking, bit? <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just asking because that kind of affects the. No, I just answer. want the, I want the jokes to flow. I mean, I think it maybe the first half it would make yeah. sense more. Yeah, to I probably, think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. Like canonically, yeah. you know what I mean? Because that pitch right. was pretty fucking good. I thought that was. I thought, I mean, yeah, I thought that was exceptional. That was cool. The last one we did was like way harder. It was. It was pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, it was a hard one. Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember. What it, was it was like a sci-fi, um, big city drug addicted. Drug yeah, addicted, drug, drug addicted. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you guys pick Joan Hall as the actor? I, I think like we did. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. We were jumping around too much though. And uh, just yeah. kind of we're like he'll do crack. I was, like, <laughs> oh, I was like the whole time you guys were talking about that. I was like Stone Skarsgård, Stone Skarsgård. Stone yeah, there you go. Like, yeah, that, that would have been the first good. person that, that would have been good. I thought like Mute I like that. and like uh, the Stray Dogs remake. Just he. Last House on the Left, he can do crazy. Obviously, 
fucking uh, Infinity Pool, one of my favorite movies of last year. Yeah, I liked yeah. Infinity Pool. I yeah. What a wild ride for, that was. Except except for, <laughs> David Cronenberg, his dad, is my favorite director. So yeah. I don't know about Dog James, and I don't know about Mia Goth yeah. just, just screaming Jamesy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it, it like makes my cuts. blood pressure yes. go up. <laughs> it does. Just thinking about it, it does fuck with you. Yeah, for sure. That's probably uh, the but point. Jesus though. Christ, I yeah. fucking love yeah. that movie. Though, yeah, like, definitely. just the visuals in that thing, absolutely are fucking insane. Yeah. yeah, Brandon, Antiviral is seriously like a top ten movie for me in the last twenty years, easily. His first movie. I don't know if really? you guys have ever seen that. I haven't, that. Seen, I haven't that. seen it. Uh, Caleb Landry Jones is the main, and Malcolm McDowell's in it. I like Caleb Landry Jones. Yeah. He's a greasy fucking weasel. Yes, he is. Yeah, yep. I love him in Get Out. Get oh out. he's yes. fantastic that as the jujitsu brother yes yeah. yep just the he could be bag. another good pick for the yeah he could be the creepy uh, guy the creepy i like guy. that yeah he's He'd the only great. person i could see other than barry Kyoto. Yeah. yeah he looks jittery as yeah. fuck i mean all those other people we talked about work but like, yeah i like the idea of just being the same age or close mm-hmm, right age. Yeah, yeah 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 close Man, close caleb landry jones he is a little fucking weasel too. <laughs> uh, he's in a, I, not in person i'm sure he's i'm sure he's lovely He's in a Neil Jordan movie, Byzantium. It's a vam- vampire movie, Danny, for you. I highly recommend. I think it was like 2012. Um, but yeah, that, that's a really good vampire movie. He's in that. Um, you know what I love about a good vampire movie is that it's the exception to the rule. Yeah, because because the rule is 95% yeah. of them are fucking yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. They're stupid and they're bad. Yeah. It's just like, oh, all vampires obviously like I black like leather. It's like <laughs> once every <laughs> 10 years there's a good one, you know? Exactly, right. yeah. It's kind of the ratio. <clears throat> Thirst was another good one. It's a horrifying like... monster. How does it get fucked up so frequently? I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Like, I just know. let it be the horrible thing that it is. Have you ever seen that season one of Dracula on Netflix? It was all right, I thought. I, the first yeah. season I thought was quite good. Yeah. I never watched any more of it. Because I, I think it, it got canceled, I heard it got terrible. went to Netflix or something. It yeah. was originally on NBC. Right. Oh, is that what it was? It was, uh, it was like... I think it was Network. It was originally. Like, uh, yeah. Not in English, most of it. Yeah. 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 It's, I vaguely, it's been a while. The guy they got to play Dracula was outstanding. But anyway... Was it Justin Thoreau? Uh, it was an old guy. Oh, okay. Not like old, old, but... I don't know. Yeah. Fuck. You're going to make me look it up. Uh, <laughs> It was either him or... Miniseries? Dracula miniseries? It was either him or the cat from Velvet Underground. I can't remember his name. Uh, No, not Dracula Dead and Love. I don't know how to say that dude's name. Clays Bang? (laughs) Clays Bang. Oh, really? C-L-A-E-S. Bang. That was way off. Yep, got him. It was on Netflix. Yeah, he looked looked very... uh, He's got a good Dracula look about him, I guess. Oh, so it's kind of like each episode's the length of a movie. The, yeah, there are like three episodes. Yeah, yeah, to the first season or whatever. <laughs> the last episode has a five point three, <laughs> just tanked. Really? Yeah, it was. It started thought... out as an eight, and then yeah. all the way down to. I didn't mind it. It was very, uh, it was very graphic, hmm. uh, which I was like, "Wow, they're really going for it." Nice. Um, anyway, what you watching? Final segment. <laughs> what, what, you watching? what you watching? What you watching? What you what you what you watching? Uh, what did I watch? Oh. I watched. Uh, I watched. Uh, here we go. I watched Alien Romulus yeah, you today. Did. Uh, no spoilers. Here's what I will say about it. Uh, I think that it is the best Alien movie since the 80s. Nice. Um, and the it, it's got a very standard start and setup. But holy fuck, man. That third act is... Bonkers. Mwah. Yeah, it's, yeah uh, it's, it's wild. It. And it's love real it. good. And Alicia was not a fan. Not yeah. a fan of sci-fi stuff. And she's like, I really liked it, actually. She's like, it was nice. pretty scary. Uh, it wasn't like horrifying or anything, but it's got a couple of good jump scares and yeah. some shit that'll make you just go, ugh. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll enjoy it, man. What'd you yeah. say it was? Alien Rhombus? Alien. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rhombus. Alien Roomba. Rhombus. <laughs> Alien <laughs> Oculus. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so the little face hugger it just like it hits a wall and then it turns and fucking did I step over the mountain yet no I can't tell it's a wall I'm stuck on a ledge I'm on a cliff <laughs> what else you got uh, I watched uh, Fall Guy Fall oh uh... Uh, with uh, b- 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 Emily Blunt and yeah how was that Ryan that was pretty fun Gosling that was pretty fun I watched that with, uh, I keep with hearing that but I got zero interest really just yeah, not into it, it? Just, as I, there's just some movies like but, the premise of it does not exist. What you think happens is exactly that, what that's happens. what happens. Yeah. That's but all I need to know. There's a couple of good jokes and bits in there. Okay. Yeah. There's a there's a there's one very brief fight scene. It lasts maybe like a minute. 
and I just I thought I had a, a lot of fun with it. Hmm. Um, yeah, I thought it was, it was pretty good. It was much better than I thought it would be. Okay, we'll say that. Um, and I also watched uh, Maxine. Oh mm-hmm. yes, I yeah. did as well. Yeah, fuck yeah. nice. Uh, yeah, I really liked it. We're going to cover it on It's Just Two Movies next time Jeremy Jones comes back. Nice. Uh, but as I've covered X, Pearl, and now I've watched Maxine, right? I could see why you couldn't get into X, but I would still urge you to check out Pearl and Maxine because they're so vastly, vastly different. They're yeah. so different. Three like, different movies, really. They're totally different. Like different in genre. Yes. It, which is wild because they are all they all star yeah. the same yeah. woman, which is weird. Right, um, but they're just super different That's movies. Cool. No, I plan to rewatch, like restart X. Yeah, um, but it just it's a slasher, and I know you're not like horror is just not your thing. I could see it being like, okay, I know where this is going. And well, you're I think probably it, right. I think it was just a a slower start, and I was like, yeah. oh, come on, let's. Kid Cuddy's tire iron. Yeah, has to be commented on with right. X. <laughs> the old knee slapper. Just fucking. <laughs> Actually, I had to have his knees replaced. I had to have his knees replaced when he was forty-five, which is rough. You normally you don't have to do that shit until you're sixty, but it just wore out the just, inside just... cuffs. You know, just fucking beating him around with that goddamn thing. Uh, uh, fucking hell, man! Yeah. You get like that seems like yeah. the kind of thing if That's you so if you when like... he opens that door, I'm like, dude, you gotta have medical issues. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Seems like this man, should be dragging me down. All that's down. the kind of shit they shouldn't let you into the military for. Like, <laughs> like you're fucking flat footed, or your dick is just too fucking big. <laughs> you have oh, you have asthma. Sorry, we can't use you. Look at that fucking thing. No, your dick's too big. Uh, hey, what are you gonna do? Go it's back one. home. Enjoy your freedom and lace and cable, son. <laughs> oh my god, that's too good. That's too good. It's incredible. I wonder if that's ever been a thing. I evidently not. <laughs> that's why not Kid a... Cuddy wasn't in the military. Yeah, not, a, not in the X universe. Yeah. 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 God, God damn. damn. Oh, that's good. Straight yeah. to the top of the charts, that one. So He's going to be big. Um, He's going to be big here. I tell you what, I, I don't know how to rank them in order, but I will say this. I, I avoided as much stuff as I possibly could about Maxine. I just wanted yeah. to watch it. Yeah. Um, I, I just know that she kind of gets her big break is all I know. Sure. And I went in and I watched it and I got to tell you, man, it was, I was not expecting anything that happened in it. Sure. Like what I thought was going to happen and what happened to very different, really very, very different things. Um, yes. Where'd you see it? I rented it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we rented it on right Prime. Now. Yeah. yeah, we like. I, I guess it was last weekend. We didn't really go out. We didn't do anything. I didn't record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're just like, I don't know. You want to rent some? It players? should be coming to Max soon because it's. Uh, they got the AT A two four deal. Oh, yeah. stuff goes oh yeah, it's all to Max. Max. Yeah, VOD. right. Yeah. Ah, Max. Nice. Where A two four movies oh. go to die. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. That's where I go to watch them. Uh, Bear, what you got? I got a quick list. I'll just like rapid fire. Oh yeah! If you guys want to ask me about any of them, go for it. I will. But I did also watch Maxine. I really liked it for like the obviously the homage to like Giallo eighty slasher stuff. Yeah, and the soundtrack even kind of leaned that way. Kevin Bacon is my favorite part of that entire movie. Yeah, nice. it's he's, the detective. He's, he's pretty fucking, fucking amazing in it. Big yeah, time. I fucking love Kevin and I, Bacon. And being a Max, like you know, being a big fan of Mia Goth, I thought that would be my favorite part. And Swinging for the fences, not, yeah, dude. He's yeah, great. Kevin Bacon's he's yeah. electric in it. I uh, went back and rewatched Ghost Watch because I was like younger when I watched it. It's like a, I think a ninety two broadcast BBC the TV show. Ghost it was Watch? a mockumentary TV show. Yeah, hmm. it was uh, like a one time special, and like people got upset about it because it was like before Blair Witch and all that shit. But, like a lot of the found footage stuff even took from that, where people thought it was like a real broadcast and it wasn't actually. And, like people got offended by it and stuff because they, the way the, they do it pretty decent with the treatments. Well, I mean, hold on, hold on. Modern day, it's me, easy to look back on it and say like, yeah, this is all Telling me people fake. got upset about a thing they saw? Yes, exactly. <laughs> on great. TV. On TV. Right, Damn. right. Seems like you uh, just saw turn Deadpool, the channel. Deadpool Wolverine. Oh, nice. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. Fun movie. Great summer flick. If you're in it for story, you came to the wrong movie. Yeah. yeah. That third act falls apart. But, uh, uh, that's a bummer. The play between, obviously, Ryan Gosling and Hugh Jackman as Deadpool and Wolverine is worth the price of admission. And, Tell you what. Yeah. You know, if you just read a lot of comic books or were into right. any of that stuff. the And I hate to say this because I hate that they fucking do it so much. Like, yeah. I hate being beat over the head with it. Right. A lot of cool cameos. 
Yes. Yeah. A lot of cool cameos. Yeah. Um, I saw unexpected ones. I saw one spoiler before I went and saw it, and it was a picture of fucking. um, His name escapes me. Yeah, Rob Rob McElhenney Mac from It's Always Sunny. Yes, he was like that. He was in it, and I was like, "Oh fuck! I wish I wouldn't have seen that." You don't actually see because he got cut out. I didn't know if he got cut out. He he explains it in the post. Uh, Ah. He said, "You guys cut my scene out, but thanks anyways." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he was an alternative Deadpool that you actually got to, I guess, see his face. Maybe I don't know. I just assume he might have been in a suit, but then he goes on to explain that they cut a scene out. That they do that Rex Ham show. Bummer. Is that real? Did they actually buy yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's legit. It. Yeah, that's for real. Huh. Yeah. That's cool. They're good buddies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So we random. should buy a soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Should we? Yeah. We should SLC. Rob, we should, should we buy St. Louis City? Yeah. We'll yeah, have yeah. to rob a couple of banks first. <laughs> <laughs> Take over the Centene Corporation. But then yeah, yes. right. Yeah. What else you got? Furioso. Love oh, okay. It. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Haven't seen it yet. It's on, I, on my list. Yeah. Uh, in the Mad Max, like you know, cavalcade of movies. Just like real quickly, I'd probably. I mean, just overall as a movie, I'd probably give it like a, at least a four, if not a four or five out of five. You know, how's it? Strong. How's it hold up against Fury Road? Uh, Fury. I I don't like it as much as Fury Road, but it's a prequel to essentially Charlize Theron's character, obviously Furiosa. Right. Um, and you know, Anya Taylor Joy is like one of my favorite current actresses like younger She's, actresses yeah. as well she can do anything fantastic uh chris hemsworth is really good in it and almost unrecognizable hmm. i will say um you know they the it, there's a big issue between the two of them not to give anything away you can tell it by the trailer um just the interplay between them as actors on screen it's pretty great so yeah He's i think they're the, pretty decent i think you think hemsworth is going for the colin farrell penguin effect <laughs> it yeah and like it, i just want to be that, unrecognizable in a yeah, role right. yeah no he definitely was like there's definitely a Nose prosthetic. I mean, I bet that's therapeutic as fuck. You just don't have to. I be bet Chris Hemsworth for a guy like him because in, you know, you like know, yeah. you know, people look at the Thor role; it's pretty two dimensional, right? Yeah, uh, they had fun with it with Takia Watiti whenever, like, they did the three. Right, the first is the best one. Yeah, but, like the first one was pretty flat. Second wasn't much better. And the fourth, but, like, one by the third just, time, he was good. The fourth one was just cashing one, a paycheck, yeah, which is absolutely. terrible. People going yeah. through the motions for sure. Oh, they had a legacy set up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you had a legacy set up, and you just right. all you had to do was give a send off. Right, you for couldn't real. do it. Yeah, yeah Furious again, and then Long Legs, of course. And, <laughs> I haven't seen Long Legs yet. Uh, I've seen I've seen people underrated. I've seen people overrated. I think <sighs> it's I think it's important for the time because I think a lot of people, like modern cinema goers, will not have maybe seen a movie like this yet. Yeah, but there's like movies that have done this I concept saw... better, in my opinion. Hmm. To leave it spoiler free, okay. Um, there's a turn that the movie takes that some people aren't on board with. I don't want to give that away either. Once you see it, yeah. you'll know exactly what I'm referring to. Wow. Um, that it, it, it it's in the realms of believability or not, essentially. You know? Okay. So, well, uh, despite being a, always, I wouldn't even necessarily say always a fan, but I'm always interested in whatever Nicolas Cage is doing. Absolutely, especially uh, now. I did. It's I like he's having a, obviously a renaissance. I don't always back, love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, he's buddy. Yeah. He's swinging for it. Yeah. Big was great. Uh, Color yep. out of space. Uh, Mandy, of course. Yep. Yep. You know. Yep. Yep. Um, and then, um, he was in something else that was pretty good. I watched that Arcadia or Arcadian. Uh, oh, the Ar- Arcadian. Didn't you say Dream yeah. Scenario was no, good? Dream, Dream Scenario was awesome. amazing. Yeah. That was one of my that. favorite movies last year. Yeah, I gotta yeah. watch Top that. five. Yeah, it's a, it's sure. a goodie. Um, it's, it, he's in rare form. Mm. Yeah. And it's, cause you're like, you 10 minutes in, you'd be like, fucking want to hit him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's insufferably <laughs> like narcissistic gotcha. yeah, yeah he just fucking want to strangle like, him <laughs> trump equal plus maybe Damn. like narcissistic yeah. fucking gnarly wow yeah. um yeah it's a good flick um yeah. but i also like uh what's her name help me out that the only name i can think of is thomas and mckenzie but it's not her she's in long legs she's oh, in villains um, mika monroe um yeah mika monroe or micah is it mika or micah I thought it was Minka, but maybe it's Micah. I don't know. Either one. Miss Monroe. Yeah, uh, she's great. She's fantastic. Walter's big, good. Big fan of like the everything guest. I've seen her in. Yeah. Yep. Guest is awesome. Yeah. Um, Modern day screen queen. Have you seen Villains? Villains I have not seen. It was on Hulu for a real long time. It's a I've Bill, seen It Follows. It's Bill Skarsgård and yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's really, really, it's 
Really good. Really fun. Good date night flick. Yeah. I mean, if the kids are asleep. It know. Follows was a slow burner for me. I didn't, I wasn't like, what's all this about when I first saw it? You know, it was we, a little I wasn't crazy about that one. But it, it, it's one of those movies that cooks with you over time. It's like, I you really, know, actually is kind of smart here and they did this and that. Yeah. I really you know. liked it at the time when it came out. Yeah. We revisited it for the show and I was like a little underwhelmed with it. You know, I, I could it was see I, that. It was, was amazing. But... It, it marinated with me and I liked it more yeah. later on. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, she also, Significant Other. Was an independent independent film she yep. did, I think, last yep, year. Yep, yep, yep. That's before. a good one. Yeah, it's where yeah. her and her husband fucking are out in the I woods. I think the actor's name Jake something. He gets fucking like body swapped with an alien or yes. some shit. Yes, and it's very low budget. Hmm. Oh, it's woods. fucking good. It's yeah. creepy as shit. It is. Yeah, for sure. Boom, baby. <laughs> got, him. Good shit. got him. Got him. Good shit. Got anything else? Is that it? Um, hmm. what you got? I mean, I watch a lot of TV shows and too. You know, I know you do as well. Yeah. What do you been? Um, I, uh, I normally I do House man. of Dragons, no. The Bear, Sympathizer. I'm, not, I'm like two episodes um, behind on House of Dragons. X Men '97. I guess if I was doing consecutive Fallout, Shogun. Watched all Dude, those this Shogun's. year. Shogun's. Yeah, Shogun's amazing. We talked a little bit about it, but yeah, yeah. so yeah, fucking I fucking good. love that show. And then like currently, I've started watching the. <laughs> fucking constellation show because it has naomi repace in it and i i have a crush on her yeah i'm you know? big big fan yeah uh, she's original great. growth dragon tattoo prometheus the lamb all fantastic God, i fucking love the lamb yeah it's so good so i good. could see Full a lot of people shit. not being into it i think it's sure. fantastic especially very end yeah uh, yeah it's just it's a weird psychological thriller and then at the end you're like what <laughs> sci-fi horror then all of a sudden yeah, takes yeah. that turn yeah Nice. Oh, good shit. But yeah, uh, Constellation's not living no, up to. I've been what the I only thought. the only show we really have checked out is Alicia's been watching this reality TV show called um, fuck, what is it called? Villains, traitors, something like that. Um, I don't know. I'm so out on that. I, I, I watched like I watched like two episodes of it. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I get it. <laughs> I get. It. Uh, but it's kind of like the game Werewolf. Um, or mafia or whatever kind of same same scenario right. mm-hmm. uh but i've just have been doing a bunch of other extracurricular stuff and like the madness concept yeah yeah i mean that's literally all i've watched in the last two weeks is those th- three movies which okay. is How about you bird i don't have much i've been playing a lot of dying light too oh nice like, too much i've heard good things it's pretty good that's scary yeah. it's so scary, scary zombies yeah the so parkour scary. is fantastic nice like Very nice ooh. Yeah, really get around that map. I wish I had oh, more yeah. game, time to game in. I have, yeah, yeah too much time. <laughs> Sometimes it, it's 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 becoming a problem. <laughs> uh, I did start House of Dragoon. Oh yeah, yeah finally. <laughs> like the first season, you're just starting yeah. the series. Okay, finally starting. Yeah. Is it got you crab ring booming? <laughs> <laughs> it does. It ha- it hasn't hooked me like Game of Thrones did quite yet, but. Obviously, I'm gonna stick with it. First how, how, how far? How far in are I you? I just watched the first step. Like literally, oh, just watched the first step. Buddy, so, so. get in yeah. two more. It's like very dragon heavy, which uh, yeah, I yeah. super right. appreciate. Definitely. Uh, the t- season two. There's a couple of episodes in season two where it is dragons the whole time. It's dragons the whole time, and it's it's gruesome Damn. Like some of the best like dragon fighting I've ever seen in anything. <clears throat> it's the best yeah. dragons dragons cinema. all the way down. <laughs> Dragging me down, baby. Dragons. Dragging me down, baby. You're dragging me down. <laughs> Fucking dragging these nuts. Uh, uh, other than that, I watched um, the... So, do you know Toast of London? Did you ever yes, watch yeah, that? Yeah. I watched to- that, and then I watched Toast of Tinseltown, nice. which is that... It's the same show, but it's just... Right. He goes to L.A. Yeah. <laughs> to nice. be To be in the new Star Wars movie. That's awesome. Uh, love Matt like Berry. So. Yes. Yeah. That series is Matt Berry's fucking hilarious. King man, IT crowd. IT crowd. Yep. Yeah. Oh my what god. What we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. My kid just... recently discovered what we do in the shadows. Yeah. So I'm like very excited for her. Um, what was the uh, the horror show that he was on briefly? It was on Adult Swim. Uh, um. Hmm. Oh damn. Now you've got me intrigued. Oh yeah, yeah dude, it was real. It was uh, like a. It was like a. Um, it was kind of like a take of like unsolved mysteries, but like fleshed out, like with character acting, like set in a hospital. Um, Garth Marini's Dark Places. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, on yeah. my list. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't watched it. Yeah, he was great. In that <laughs> Good well. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna Garth get Marini's into Toast. I'm gonna get you into watch Toast, Toast of London. London. Well, yeah. here's the thing: is Maddie's getting ready to go? Or, <clears throat> here's the thing: the kids getting ready to go back to school. 
And uh, at that point, I will be in the house alone, like, all day. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm working, I'm doing my job or whatever, but I like a, a background TV show. So the way to watch it, uh, you can watch it on the Roku channel or whatever, mm-hmm. but you can watch it on your phone, too. Uh, but there's, it's weird, like... Like, simultaneously? It's, like... You can watch them both at the same time. Like, mm-hmm. I've just been watching it on my phone, because I don't have the Roku t- we have it upstairs, but not mm. downstairs. Well, the second monitor I have in the studio is a Roku TV, which sometimes I use for a second monitor, but right. I can also just watch Toast of right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But it's on the Roku channel? The Roku channel. Yeah. Fuck it. All right, I'm going to check that out. Yep. I mean, you recommended that other weird show to me that was on something, that uh, Jury Duty? Oh, oh yeah. Jury like Duty. Whatever. Yeah. That was or whatever. Dude, I fucking love yeah. that show. That was oh, amazing. James Marsden? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, fucking silly. Very James Marston and a bunch of people who yeah. have never seen it anything. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. <sighs> I don't think I really. Have I think it. they I... like circulate in like Parks and Rec actors. Even like it had uh, what's background it? characters. Uh, the guy who does Counselor Jans, maybe the guy with the the inventions. The invention guy. You told me he was no, in something else. It, oh, I don't know about him. Um, fuck, what is it? Kirk Fox? Okay. He he was uh, Sewer Joe in in Parks and Rec. Gotcha. Uh, so he was supposed to have a pretty big role in uh, Jury Duty, but the the guy Ronald said that he loved Parks and Rec, so they had to like slim down Kirk Fox's role in Jury uh, Duty so because he, he they were he afraid he he'd get noticed. Yeah, yeah. What a what dude the casting for? Have you seen this show that we're talking about? Jerry Jerry Duty. Duty. I haven't, but I'm very aware of it. Okay, so the guy that they get who's not in on the joke. Yeah. It's the best casting that's ever been done. It's like a Joe Schmo concept from back in the day. They just got a Joe Schmo, and he's fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, he's perfect. He's wholesome. He's good. He just, he's not very bright. Yes. (laughs) But he's endearing. Yeah. (laughs) And I fucking, I love him. There was a show on Spike TV, like, early in there, like, native programming. I think it was called Joe Schmo. They did the exact same concept. Nice. Except it was a reality house. Oh, rather than nice. like a jury duty setting. Yeah. Mm. So like he thought he was gonna win all this money, which he in turn does win money for being in on the joke, but it was like a big goofy guy. I don't know if you guys remember Jeff Asbury, who used to run movie gallery in Farmington as Amanda was a bartender at uh, Sticks familiar. and Steins for years. Anywho, he mm. was a lot like Jeff. He's like a car salesman at uh, Sam Sism now, but like the guy <laughs> reminded me of just like a obese version of jeff and he was just like a super nice guy yeah and at the end of it you're like man it's kind of fucked up they fucked they like, did this, this, yeah. this whole time. <laughs> yeah like you just felt bad at the end right really. yeah not a jury dude not though. a jury yeah, yeah you don't feel because i mean it's okay. Good. they fuck with him for sure oh big but time. he just the way he handles everything is just i don't know nice. it's fun yeah it's definitely worth watching yeah yeah it's easy to get on his page yeah uh, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Anybody else have anything they want to add or plug? Uh, no, Bernie, um, got anything coming up? Bear? The only thing I didn't hit on outside of like our network, I mentioned Brandon's stuff. I didn't mention uh, Ridge Jackson and Jake Jackson's show, mm-hmm. Waxing On with RJ. They do physical media reviews. I listen to that so, when I wax off. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's kind of the intent of the thing. Yeah, we hope that you're polishing your items while you're listening. <laughs> I you edge and then right at the end yeah. of the show, I Polishing could. your yeah. hog. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> while you watch. Yep. It's a hog polishing show. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, they talk about like recent physical media pickups. It's usually like either vinyl, CDs, tapes. They talk about the artist production, what favorite tracks, you know, that sort of stuff. And then they talk about like show calendar stuff. They talk about shows they went to, nice. what it was like, and then like upcoming shows they're going to. So it's kind of fun. It's got kind of a headbangers ball vibe, you know, nice. minus the music videos. Yeah, that's cool. Aspect of it. Yeah. That's a hell yeah. on. Well, fucking uh, yeah! Send me. You'll send me all the links, and Absolutely. I will put. I will put all <laughs> yes, the links for all, all of yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah, sure. in the episode description for this episode. Hell yeah! Uh, and uh, you know, you can you can find the. Well, I mean, fuck! If you're already listening to this, you paid for it, so. <laughs> I love you. I love you so yes. much. I love you so much. Yeah, you're so special. You. Uh, Virtual handy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just fucking keep the old, the old. The old <laughs> hawk to a. I'm not. No, I'm not hawking. Nobody wants. Nobody's that. hawking a two. Nobody here. wants that. I don't want a hawk. If some girl hawked a fucking hawked one on my dong, <laughs> I'd like, be so fucking mad. Guess what? Blowjob's over. <laughs> it's over. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Um, 
I mean, I guess I could get into it. <laughs> uh, depends on the person. All right. Uh, we're going to get out of here. And uh, you guys, uh, thank you for listening. Tell a couple thousand of your friends. And Fuck uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I'll do this Tell for the rest of my life. Love Absolutely. you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> she has had Congress with the beast. Well, here I am. Nah, it makes you look like an idiot. You're right about this being a bad idea. That's your saying, sir. How did your brain even learn human speech? The Black Label Podcast is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I kept that on purpose so I could remember what that's called. So I can make people take shots of it at my wedding. Oh, I think you made me try this and it was fucking gross. I didn't, oh, yeah, I didn't, dude, that shit is nasty. I didn't make you try that because uh, I've only ever oh. had that one and it is oh, fucking okay. awful. Whenever Joey and I did the Exorcist episode, we fucking... You fucked with some Malort? Yeah, we took shots of that and then we made mixed Ugh. drinks with it. The shots were terrible and the mixed drinks weren't so bad, I'll say. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, but we doctored the fuck out of them. Have you have you ever just had like just a little sip of like rubbing alcohol? <laughs> oh yeah, dude, it tastes like kind of tastes that. like that. Just out of curiosity, it's yeah. worse than that. It's it worse is than worse than that. that. It yeah. is guarantee. God damn, it's, it's just the like worst taking thing a I've shot of straight up isopropyl. It's rough. Yeah. Oof. Like the only thing that's somewhat comparable. I don't even know if they make this. It was like a rail rum that I had one time. I don't even remember what the fuck it was. I just started drinking, and somebody gave me a shot of that, and I immediately started just, vomiting. Uh, unspiced rum. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it was unspiced. Also, unfermented all the way. So that process is <laughs> right. quite finished up.